Hello, everyone. Welcome back. How's everyone's day been, huh? Did you miss me? Were you waiting back like a... Oh, I see early game comments. You're right. Some of you did. Some of you were just spinning all day like, oh, I can't wait. Uh, how is everyone, though? Hope everyone has had an awkward and unfulfilling day. So my job becomes incredibly easy to, like, actually impress you with my mediocre streaming content. <laughs> See, it helps if your day has been shit, chat. It really does. Uh, it, it just really does. If you just like, oh god, I spilled my coffee, got tripped when I was like taking my plate of nuggies to my seat. And then you come in my streams like, you know what? Life ain't so bad. At least this guy is more miserable than me. <laughs> oh, it helps a lot. So much. You don't even know. Right, let me just pop out one of these chats here. I need. I need. There we go. Makes it a lot easier. I'm starting to get the hang of multi-streaming chat. I'm going to be a master of it. But no one will be better at it than me. As foretold. <laughs> As foretold. But uh, hopefully this soaring uh, piano music isn't overpowering uh, what I'd be saying. And you guys are uh, all enjoying yourselves. Uh, oh, yes, I did miss Dardigan. You, you are never mediocre. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. But, uh, welcome back, everyone. Hope you're ready for another, like, five hours of FF7. But, hey, we're in the open world section now. We're no longer being, well, for the time being, let, being led around by the hand while we slowly walk everywhere. Uh, I bit my cheek twice accidentally today, so I... That is like the the oral stubbing your toe, <laughs> biting your cheek. Usually when you're eating cereal, I've always noticed. that It's like when you like just stub the pinky, it's like biting the tongue or the cheek is the same equivalent. It's one of those injuries that makes you feel incredibly dumb. And also, it just hurts a lot. <laughs> biting your tongue. I don't know. I, I, I'm more of a cheek biter than a tongue biter. Chat, sound off. Are you more of a tongue biter or a cheek biter? What's up, Mario? How you doing? That's right, I brought my mod team to YouTube. Now I got, you know, got some backup. I could probably, uh, but, uh, welcome everyone. Welcome mods, welcome viewers. Said the exact same thing about it being oral equivalent. Maybe I robbed it, I stole that comment from you probably, actually. <laughs> it probably just stuck into my mind, like, that's a pretty good commentary. I'm gonna take that. What do you think of the game so far? Uh, well, we're... Beforehand, I was in the the, you know, the training wheel stages of the game, so now we're in the the real deal, Jacko. I don't know I don't know why I put through the Jacko in there. We're in the real now, real deal now, buddy boy. It works the same. Uh, so now we'll have a better uh, better way of gauging the game and whether we like it or not. I like that you now announce streams on YouTube, even if it's only thirty minutes earlier. I don't have to wait till two a.m. to know if you can. Well, that's the advantage of. YouTube is you schedule the stream ahead of time and then you have a waiting room. I'm pretty sure Twitch has something like that. It's just not as effective and no one gives a shit. <laughs> I, I think. I think that's how it works. So weird having my legal name show up. Ah, uh, well. It's only one part of your name and I've seen Brazilian names. They're like a mile long. You have nothing to worry about. Looking forward to the three sins videos you can make about this game. I try not to make multi video videos. Like I, I pr when I if you look at my FF16 video, that should have been two videos based on its length. And I for a while while producing it, I thought I was gonna have to. And then I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm making this just one really long video. And I the first time I ever broke my rule of having over an hour long video. Used to I would never do that. Uh, but I really don't like breaking videos up. Ever play Warframe? No, but one of my rune, one of my uh, mods, Runestorm, I believe, was like addicted to it for a while. Uh, but I've never played it myself. I'm not really big into live service typey games, and Warframe, even though it's one of those successful ones, never interested me. Twitch and YouTube chats are like the angel and devil on your shoulders. Well, like I said, it, to me, it's more like having schizophrenia that is like your friendly. Like a, it's like an old friend. What's up, Luggy? Welcome back. You got snacks? I had a gigantic bowl of rice today. I am, Chad, I am on the way to becoming Asian. I don't know if that's how it works, but I have always assumed. I've had my theories. Eat enough rice, you just gain the official status. 
How's Dex, my cat? Uh, I believe she's sleeping on my couch. YouTube and Twitch, like, too little... Well, the thing is, I, I'm pretty sure YouTube is the devil in this, you know, this allegory. Streaming on YouTube is a bit more tricky because you're always getting copyright claims on your live stream. From what I've noticed of it, most YouTubers who also stream on YouTube, they tend to unlist their, their VODs after the stream is over. Uh, or even delete them all out, delete them all together. So I'm wondering if I should do that. I might, uh, just to avoid getting, like, copyright strikes from music and stuff. Well, not strikes, they're just, you know, claims. Strikes are a different thing. But I, I've noticed that. Unless it's, like, a dedicated streaming channel, they still will, like, usually unlist their bonds. As an Asian, I formally accept you into the Asian. Did I get my, just get my Asian pass? Awesome. I'm not, wait, wait, what brand of Asian am I being accepted into? <laughs> You get to experience the voice in live, you do. You do. And I even get to read your comments. See, I'm not one of those streamers who ignores chat and just focuses on the game. I read you guys. I'm not some e-thought out here like, ah, oh, ha, ha, chat. Ah, oh, watch me. You'll do yoga. <laughs> no, I'm here to read your shit, no matter how dumb it is. Daddy likes to read and daddy gonna read. See that mostly for streamers, they use their streams for making videos. Uh, yeah, that's probably the thing. They like to cut it up, so you'll have to force to watch their segments. Uh, but there is like detail. Yeah, streaming on YouTube is a bit different. You don't, you have to worry more about like copyrights and nudity. Darting in is a dreamy Chad. Mm, I'm like a mixture of Twink and Chad, you know? Got like a good combo going on. Sushi noodles and egg rolls, perfect combo, huh? I'm more, like I said, I am a fried rice fiend. You you put a bowl of fried rice in front of me, I'm gonna turn into like some kind of cartoon character, character of Go Why am I saying cartoon character of Goku? He is a cartoon character. <laughs> that, yo, I'm gonna turn into an anime version of Goku. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I love my alliteration, or lack thereof. Can we introduce YouTube chat into the cult of Moob? I mean, it, it, like I said, if they, if they want to start mooing at me, they're more than welcome. I'm not going to force anything on anyone. Cloud sucks. He plays League of Legends, but Seth plays FIFA, so he also sucks. I like that you're coming up with lore for what games these fictional characters are into. Uh, lol, Daddy Dardigan gonna read our... Yeah, I'm reading your fucking report cards. What's this F in geography? Kermer, huh? Explain that. You live on Earth. How do you fail at geography? Can you not tell mountains and lakes apart? Jesus Christ. <laughs> You've changed, lol. When I first watched you on Twitch years ago, you weren't allowed to... We we weren't allowed to call you Daddy Wolf, yes, but... You know... Well... Wait, that's very specific. I, I mean, I, I will call myself Daddy. I didn't give you permission to. Just because I said Daddy doesn't mean you... Oh, you get to start calling me that. Don't, don't read into my words. <laughs> Do not. I fucking don't. <laughs> the only country in the world is the USA, according to Canadians. They care a lot about us, you know. Daddy is a special title one must earn. <laughs> only certain people truly get to call me that. I actually also had an F in geography. I grew up poor, so we never traveled to. I never can. You know, I grew up poor too, but I still learned like all 50 states. Don't look behind you. It's there watching. You know what? I have I have a whole like Pokemon like team of sleep paralysis demons. Whatever you're threatening with behind me is not gonna scare me. I, I like that concept I just birthed, by the way. Chat, can we get on this project? Sleep paralysis demons plus Pokemon. It's like it's like nightmares plus po you go to sleep and you get to catch your sleep paralysis demons in some form and then battle them. I think there's legs to this project idea. I'm not sure what to call it. You're a good sport. I'm just like a positive individual who li likes everybody. That's literally uh, Dark Riot. Well, shit. Why does everything I think is a good idea already taken up by anime? Uh, it's, it's always the case, isn't it? Everything's always... Anime did it first. You can summon a sleep monster. Okay, is it, is it is it a sleep paralysis demon that keeps you from moving, though? Big difference. Please stop. I would never, ever, I mean, never call you to... I didn't ask you to. <laughs> never asked anyone to. 
I love BG3, so I'm trying another Larian game called Divinity Original Sin. Yeah, I know about it. It's also a very good game. I need to get started playing Baldur's Gate 3 again. It's, it's been I haven't played it since October. I probably need to start a brand start over from the beginning. So I don't know if the team is gonna get back together for it. Do a Ned Flanders impression. Hey, Simpsons is something that has like completely fallen out of, of my mind, so I haven't watched it in forever. But the only thing I remember from Flanders is like, hi diddly do, neighbor. <laughs> that kind of shit. Hi diddly do. I, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm not an impression guy when it comes to like certain cartoons. Nightmare Pokemon. It's a good concept. One real world, one dream world. See, there you go. You're already taking my idea and making it better. I like this chat. Uh, Dark Urge, Dark. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should do a Dark Urge run. Definitely a B minus Ned Flanders. Maybe I could do it better by practice. Looking forward to Dargan's smooth voice and humor. Well, it's here already. You don't have to look forward to it anymore. Dark Rise, a nightmare Pokemon, basically. Kind of looks more like sleep. Chat, can we bring back the goth era of entertainment? I miss it. <laughs> there was that. There was a goth era, chat. We had movies like The Crow. And, you know, really weirdo freaks in the music entertainment industry. They're remaking The Crow? Yeah, I've heard about that, but I, I haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> the Matrix? Yeah, Matrix was definitely goth. Twilight? I do not consider Twilight goth, alright? <laughs> no one considers Twilight goth. Let me make sure this isn't breaking my capture, because sometimes I notice when I, I have the streaming, you know, Dardigan, you know, thing up for too long. I can't, like, switch over to, like, my gameplay capture because it'll be split in half. <laughs> Shoring music. We cooking tonight, boys? Yeah. What are we cooking, though? I miss scene culture. I was never part of emos and gaunts, but I loved seeing them around. Looking back on it, you know? I, I just liked admiring, like, hey, they're dressing in a way I never will. <laughs> Uh, the remix sounds like the usual garbage Hollywood is currently producing. Hmm. Look, unless the main character gets shot on stage, well, actually, no, they probably should. Can we get Eric Baldwin out there to do it again? I I I'd be a little nervous if I were the, guy the lead guy in that movie after what happened with the first crow. Did they really ever disappear the what goths? Uh they they lost cultural relevancy. They're, they they got emos came along and kinda like took their place in hipsters then as well. I'm not sure what the cultural zeitgeist is now. Chat, what would you say is the zeitgeist? Baldwin's have a big old time out from Holly out uh, time out Holly from Hollywood around. A big old time? The defense of the crow, the Lee family is cursed. Well, yeah. Well, specifically only, you know, the, the son and the father. I don't know of any other Lee family members that were cut down in a horrible, you know, tragic way. Hipsters, yeah, those guys who'd wear, dress like their grandpa. And I think kick hacky sacks around? Though that might have been a, you know, you know, slander. I, I, I've yet to, in this day and age, in my life, ever seen anyone using a hacky sack. I've seen hacky sacks, but never seen anyone actually kicking one around. I honestly think that only appeared in, like, movies and stuff. Like, hey, man, why don't we just kick a beanbag at each other and then keep it up in the air? It'll be fun. The Holy Ghost. Look, that, you're not the only one. You don't have to apologize. I was also thinking of, like, finishing that by saying the Holy Ghost, but I stopped myself. One of us has restraint. You did a few times, it was not good at it. Well, that's the thing. It's just boring even if you are. Do you really want to put the time into getting good at Hacky Sack? Glad your package arrived today. Yeah, well, it has to be, you know, right at a cousin's. Don't even know what the current weird group is. Now, I think there's just a whole lot of weird groups and they're all at war with each other. That's what I, that's what I, that's what I reckon. We have too many counterculture groups. And none of them get along. Alright, good, good, good. 
the greatest way people show their love is through hatred of each other. Well, hatred of things that... That's, that's a... I guess there's some philosophy in there. But it just shows that, you know, you have different interests. Uh, the goths are the arm. The hipsters in the other arm. And the grunge kids are the... I don't think grunge kids exist. They're just like dirty poor people. <laughs> Used to be you had to go out of your way to be grunge. Now you're just like, eh, I don't have any money. But what's this, I gotta be into this kind of music? I don't know. I think you have to be high to enjoy hackies. Look, I I know people who get high, and I've never seen them use hacky sex. They have other more entertaining yo know, activities to do while high. Stoners hanging over there in the grassy you knoll. Look, they just know to touch grass. That's all they need to know. They're like absorbing nature. Goths are an endangered species right now, which is why goth dummy dummy mommies are in such high demand. <laughs> I like to think there is a goth economy out there. Like we we need the the culture economy. Speaking of hacky sack, I've been kicked in the testicles before every man has been kicked in the testicles how do you think we all know what that to like cringe when we see it happen to another man we've all ex it, it, maybe not directly kicked but we've all taken damage there so we know to have empathy yeah it's, that's a learned experience all right you're just you're not born if you're a guy you're not born with the knowledge of like protect them at all costs and like you feel the pain of others around you you just you just you have to experience it once yourself You remember people kicking around a hacky sack like 15 years ago, but never. Yeah, they, they did it the one time, and then they were even like, you know what, this thing isn't that fun. Why are we doing this again? Let me turn off my space. Making noise. We have empathy after chat. I honestly think the only time men feel true empathy is when it comes to seeing another man take ball damage. Like, otherwise, we're all stoic and, like, reserved, but you, that we see that happen in front of us, we're like, oh, oh, buddy. I mean, I'm not, this isn't even hyperbole when I say this. I could probably watch, like, a really reprehensible person, like, like Genghis Khan or some shit, get kicked in the nuts, and I'd still like, oh, God, dude, are you all right? It just, it just overwhelms your, your, your rationality. You just gotta, like, you'll, know, you'll know, pat someone in the back. Like, that man needs an ice pack stat. That when someone's food falls to the floor? Uh, tr maybe. Somewhat. Depends. <laughs> Depends. Really random question to ask you, but can I have a hug? Uh, how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> uh, you can have, like, hey, hope you've had a good day. Uh, is that enough? Someone's food. It's only if it's like a plate of food at a restaurant, though. Like all their nuggies go flying. Also, can we retire the word nuggies, by the way? I, I am sick of having to, like, yo, just say it. <laughs> Chat, it's 2024. Nuggies is no longer a word you're allowed to use. You have to go back to using nuggets. I'm sorry. Nuggie privilege is revoked. I will allow you to keep saying doggo, but no more nuggies. You dare defy me? You dare. You dare defy me when I t give you a solid order that has perfect rationale behind it? All about nuggie? No, nuggets is a perfectly fine word. It, nuggets is already a cute word on its own. It doesn't need to be made incutified. Jim can nugget. See, now you're adding like an adjective in front of a, the incutified word. Now it's just like sickeningly cute and too much. Like adding sugar to like your your big slurp or something. <laughs> like it's like diabetic word word diabetes is what it is. That's what it's. I've now coined the term word diabetes for things like snick, doggo, nuggies. What else? What other what word diabetes can we add to the list? There's plenty of them out. The oo woo. You know, do yourself a favor. Change your word diet. <laughs> you love, I know you love dogs. 
Please say now I activate the seal of Ori Kalkos like Yugi did. Ooh, I have not watched that show in a while. Uh, which character said it? Yugi was a Yugi. I now. <laughs> How did Yugi sound again? He had a very deep voice, didn't he? I play this card in attack mode. Yeah, something like that, right? Now I activate the seal of Ori Kalkos. <laughs> That's the best I got. That's my anime voice for you. No, Yugi. Adult Yugi, yeah, well, yeah. It, well, it's like not adult Yugi, it's like, you're the pharaoh, right? That was pretty good, yeah. I'm practicing my anime, your debut. You gotta put together a reel. How droopy are your balls? Not droopy at all. Mine are very spherical. Why, you thought I wouldn't answer that question? <laughs> I'm not ashamed. Got nothing to be shamed of. What would you do without me? Probably watch someone else. You you would live just fine without me. I am in no way vital to anyone's existence. Didn't know he had a name, huh? Well, I, I just he just got called Yami Yugi, I believe. Aren't they making like a VR Yu-Gi-Oh game now finally where you'll be able to like you'll pull out your the uh, Dark Magician Girl card, and you'll fight someone and, like, say all the famous lines. Send them to the Shadow Realm and all that shit. No more Twitch? I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube, my man. So, you know, uh, I'm still working out how I'll go forward in the future. I might receive, I might, like I said, YouTube is tricky to stream on because of, like, things like copyright and how it affects other metrics on your channel. So I'm not sure if I'll stream everything on YouTube, but I might do it at least a couple times a month. Uh, but I'm still working it all out. I don't really know. I'm kind of like seeing how things work out after streaming FF7 on it. And then I'll go from there. But I, I'm not stopping my streams on Twitch. We need our king. Our king? Um, sorry, I haven't seen him. It's a rumor they are? It's a rumor? I, thought, I, saw, I saw a video of it though. I never watched your streams before because Twitch has too many ads for my liking. But I'm already starting to regret that. Glad you stream on YouTube now though. Oh well, thank you for giving me a chance regardless. Uh, yeah, Twitch has, uh, admittedly, Twitch has gotten a little annoying with ads recently, because every time you start a new, you go to watch a live stream, it plays like a minute of ads. And will sometimes even like interrupt your stream, even though if you don't press a button to play more ads, it's really annoying. Uh, but, uh, hey, YouTube hasn't really been good with ads recently either, from what I know of it. Can't even use your ad block on anymore. It's like, it's like sniffs out. Is that an ad blocker? <laughs> Get him. You with a woman, you can't even catch a ball. Shut up, Jack. This ain't your game. I got I got two girls after me in this game. But I, I think you for the bits. Uh ready for the Resident Evil 5 remake sim video? Oh god. For anyone who doesn't know, I, I despise Resident Evil 5. It's like the worst out of the entire series. I, I if they're gonna remake that game. Okay, you're just going through all the sound effects, aren't you? But thank you for the bits. If they end up remaking that game, if they better get rid of the co-op part of it. Just make it single player only. Because everything about that game sucked because it was built for co-op. Wesker is the best in Resident Evil 5. Unfortunately, the new Wesker will not be the best Wesker from Resident Evil 5 because he's no longer like the weird ham. See, Shakespeare... You know, no, shit. Wesker is meant to be like Shakespearean ham. And now he's being played like he's a Call of Duty villain. Favorite Final Fantasy? Mine is Final Fantasy IX. Uh, by and far. Uh, I, second would probably be FF7. <laughs> followed by Final Fantasy X. There you go. There's my top three FF picks. Hopefully they do one before... But one has already been remade. But I'm assuming you want them to remake it again with the over-the-shoulder camera. Uh, that's not unrealistic to you know, see happening. But I, I don't know if they'd go back and do that now. Instead of like going directly to 5 and then... Maybe they'd do that after 5 because 6 seems like it might be a little hard to like remake. Given how 6 goes about it, telling its story. 9 is the best followed by 8. Ooh, an 8 fan. Don't see those out in the wild too often. You just don't understand the, the complexity of the junction system. 
No, no I kid though. You're free to like whatever you like. <laughs> Even if that what you like is Final Fantasy VIII. I mean, I like the first half of Final Fantasy VIII. It just goes downhill after that. I returned and I'm still on hold again. Oh, uh, okay. Someone's like, uh, you making important phone calls over there, I see. Honestly, the pixel remasters were all remakes I needed. To... I was hoping they with the pixel remasters, they would have done that 2.5D stuff that Square Enix has been doing with like Live Alive and uh, Octopath Traveler. That was perfect for those games. I guess it would have been too much work. Eight was my final, my first Final Fantasy. Uh, mine was seven. Uh, I borrowed it you from a young boys, Valdez. The worst sound effect, and you play it. I know what you're doing. You're putting on a performance for the YouTube friends. It's like, hey, hey, look at all these weird sound effects we can play over here. Any updates about your TIR sup yet? Because I might do it. Um, your what sup? I'm not sure what you mean. My tersup? My tersup. I'm, I'm assuming you mean my Patreon? That's not available yet. That'll be coming sometime this month. Right around the same time I finish up the Final Fantasy 7 video. Autocorrect adds words. Trust me, I'm, I'm very well what Autocorrect does to you. It embarrasses you. <laughs> it humiliates you by adding, like, makes you look like an idiot or possibly a pervert. You should do a Retro Sins video, Need for Speed, Most Wanted. Well, the thing is, on my Patreon, I'm going to be doing DLC Sins and Classic Sins. And Classic Sins is for older games from before my cutoff. So, technically, we'll be doing retro games. I guess you can call those retro. But that's still, uh, you know, still... I've actually started... I actually almost have the first DLC Sins video finished. Actually, would you guys like a preview of, like, the opening of the DLC Sins video? Now that I think about it, hopefully opening Adobe Premiere won't cause my computer to explode while I'm also streaming. Alright. I'm not gonna... Okay, there's, there's gonna be Final Fantasy music playing in the background, but you're just gonna hear my voice. I'm not gonna display it on screen. I'll let you hear, like, the first minute of the video. How about that? One minute. This is for Resident Evil 7 Separate Ways. I'm not Resident Evil. Resident Evil 4 Separate Ways DLC. That's going to be the first one of it. I will allow you to hear it. Here, here, right, this is... <clears throat> here we go. Capcom's remastering of Resident Evil titles have so far provided a mostly satisfying way of reliving the best games from their classic horror series. Notice the strategic use of mostly. It's a none too subtle nod to the fact that Capcom has been playing a game of nostalgia jenga, carefully removing pieces under the impression that modern sensibilities can't handle campy 80s and 90s horror unless it's explicitly marketed to them as a period piece. Resident Evil 3's remake felt like it was put through a paper shredder, missing entire chunks of its body and soul. But Resident Evil 4's approach was more like a cautious diet for swimsuit season, trimming what Capcom deemed too fatty read fun for today's audience there you go that's all you get and there's your preview pull up the video nope i mean you wouldn't be seeing anything but the opening of the dlc anyway so it's not like there's anything you know you must watch there the you know the narration is what you're there for uh but yeah that, that gives you an idea of the theme for that video where i'm you know showing you know pointing out that you know the dlc is basically adding all the stuff they cut out of re4 back in in dlc form you love camp, bring it back. Oh, they can only sell you camp if they let you know very obviously that it's camp. Like, would you like some camp, sir? We're serving it up today. Hot. An extra charge. Moo cop emote win. Uh, I don't know. I need new. I need a new emote slot for me you know, on Twitch for that. <laughs> Maybe I can add it to you know, YouTube or something. Alright, my personal trainer keeps uh, making me do goblin squats, and I feel like I'm going to die every time. My legs feel like they're going to give out every few minutes for like three days afterward. I mean, that is a sign that is good. As long as it's not joint pain, uh, it's just good. If it's just muscle doms, the delayed onset muscle soreness, it's not bad at all. Yeah, just watch out for joint pain. Hey, otherwise it just means it's working for you. Sorry, I'm a little out of the loop. Is DLC going to be uh, on the channel or is it going to be bonus content on Patreon? Uh, like I said, I'm starting a Patreon that's going to have DLC sins and classic sins. 
Uh, so yes, that'll be Patreon content. That'll be, you know, it should be at least like one episode of like maybe DLC and Classic Sins a month. Uh, all muscle, no joints. Also, fuck Stairmasters. You know what? No one ever said getting healthy is easy. But it's worth it. How many videos to start? Well, right now, I haven't started it yet, but uh, that's I'm almost finished with the first video for it, which I just played a little bit of. Uh, and also, I technically have started work on the second video for Silent Hill. Uh, but at the start of it, there'll be the one DLC video, and then I'll add more as we go. I'm also going to be uploading uncensored versions of like new game sin videos to it. So you'll, you'll be able to hear me like swear in videos again. And also maybe like a few different jokes that wouldn't make it into regular YouTube videos because they're a bit too spicy. So you'd get like, you get to see the game sins a day or two early, plus it'd be uncensored. That's the current plan. Wishing you luck well, hey. Thank you very much. I don't know why this keeps going to like switching off live chat. I want live chat YouTube. Let Dartigan say fuck hey on streams I can, but in YouTube videos, not a good idea. Uncensored only, it's just, uh, when I say uncensored, it just means I can swear in it. And it, I guess it also means if there are boobs on display, I can, you will I don't have to like cover those up in the video. But it also means there might be jokes that I, that I think are probably not a good suit, a fit for YouTube that I cut out. That's happened plenty of times before. It doesn't happen too often, but there are times where it's like, uh, I don't know if I want to put this joke on YouTube. So I could put it into the uncensored version instead. Uh, let let Dardigan swear. Stop having him be silent. Also, uh, look at that. We just got a su sub. Who subbed? Uh, Kurosaki. Thank you for the fifty months, man. All right. I should put, should I get started playing the game now? <laughs> or would you guys like to listen to me yammer on a bit more? No, Dardigan. We love the yammering. Uh, let's see, no, 30 more minutes. Well, I do have to, like, get a lot of, you know, game done. Because this is a big game, you know. Is Dart only reading YouTube chat? What do you think? I'm reading, I'm trying to read as much of both as I can. But keep in mind, I got two chats to read through now. So I gotta pick and choose. But I'm still trying to read, yo, know, Twitch on YouTube. Don't you worry. I'm not favoring one of my children. <laughs> That's the one thing I made clear when I was gonna say I was gonna do this, is I would not just favor one chat over the other. Is YouTube popping off? Uh, it's about equal to like how I'd... It's actually kind of like... Hard to say. It's about equal to like Twitch at the moment. Uh, but like it's... there. Obviously there's far more room for growth on the YouTube stream because of like that's where my audience is. And plus bigger VOD views as well. Though I'm not really sure how well you streaming on YouTube affects the channel overall. One of the reasons it's been one of those big worries and like, hmm, should I keep this up? <laughs> Uh, but we'll see. Like I said, all experimentation, experimentation to see how well it goes, and you know, Dargan is that parent that just ignores both his kids. <laughs> Gotta go get the milk, children. Gotta go get the milk. Encyclopedia Britannica video games. I actually do know quite a bit, but I have to pretend to be an idiot so not to alienate people. First stream, but I recently got my fiance into your channel. Also, your opinions. Of them restoring Tifa. <laughs> oh, well, first and foremost, thank you for watching my stuff and getting your fiance. Congratulations, into my channel. As for restoring Tifa, do you do you happen to mean her breasts? I I don't think they restored her. I think she just when you're if you're talking about the scene on the beach, she's just wearing a bikini, so they're not compressed by a sports bra. <laughs> yeah, it, during most of the game, she does pack a sports bra, which will make breasts look smaller because it's you know pressing in on them. I think it's just, I think it's just the, you know, you know, le, you know, bikini, you know, if you've ever seen one, changes how things look. You know Mortal Kombat lore than normal Mortal Kombat, man, that's because I've had to sin Mortal Kombat games, which requires education. <laughs> Gotta fucking love it when he explains bras to me. <laughs> look, there's a lot of science and engineering that goes into those things. What, you can go and literally get an education for designing bras, all right? You can make good money in the brawl, big brawl chat. You just, you, look, you, you, if you, 
quit your rocket engineering job, go into bra design. Right, uh, so we're gonna... What, what, am, what am I doing? I think we had to, like, get to the yo, chocobo farm, right? And we've been, like, exploring everything, and there's, like, nothing but, like, locked doors everywhere. Okay, yeah. There we go. Yeah, we're supposed to get down here. Abandoned dock. Sure, or maybe not. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure, like, the chocobo farm is, like, maybe in there, from my memory of the map. You think that one day there will be a division among chat on two antagonist camps, YouTube and Twitch? I have no idea. Please don't. No reason to do any of that. Anyways, let me kill a cow. Good. George Costanza made the bro, and that's better than the bro. The bro. Pretty sure that's just a, you know, still a brawl. Just more the way the open world is designed remind me of Witcher 3. Uh, I believe that was one of the influences for it. Okay, my, my audio is a little loud. There we go. They will never attack me when I'm in my... They're trying to get the hang of Red 13. He's kind of bizarre. Uh, Dargan, I'm a huge fan of yours. Ah, well, so you told me. But let's wait until tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow you won't be anymore. Well, like tomorrow, I hate that fucking bastard. <laughs> YouTube stream? That is what it is. Finally, someone named it. All right. We're, we're gonna explore thoroughly, chat. He will get mad if you don't explore the map properly. Real fans. Need a cushion. Yeah, you just had to ask because the whole drama around it is hilarious. At this point, I had to remind the stream to be sure you actually were responding to my chat. Oh, well, thank you for reading it. Oh, well, I just read out the even full paragraph you sent me. But no, I actually am, uh, if, since this is, you're still early watching my streams, I'm actually really into reading chat and engaging with chat a lot. I don't like ignoring chat like some other streamers do. Like, that's been my, my thing since day one of streaming. Like, yo, know, engage with chat. I feel like I'm pretty good at it. That being said, I am reading two chats right now, so sometimes one will be right over the other. I am coming to the opinion that maybe they made the combat a little too busy compared to Remake. I feel like Remake had it like kind of like nailed it perfectly. This one might be a little too busy. Maybe I just need more time to get used to it. Uh, also, let me like check the material on people. You got on you. Uh, tray and uh, arrow. When damage up, not so fleeting, increases. Leaving familiar duration by 25%. Yeah, sure, why not? She's also got the summon materia. Shiba. So we only got to keep our summons from the first game. None of the other materia. Gotcha. Alright, uh... HP up. Precision defense materia. Alright, 
I'm not, yeah. I'll kind of leave everyone as is. Barret, you got Thunder, increase max HP, and you know what? You can have 200%. Yeah, give, give him, make him more tanky. Fuck, you getting tired again? Mm. Two chats is like playing later levels in Dinner Dash. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'm eventually, there are programs that can combine two chats into one chat window. So you see all the messages in one output, which would make it a lot easier. I just haven't done that yet. Right, she's got Chakra, Ice. You know what, I'll put the Steel on her as well. Martial arts master, increase the duration of unbridled strength, increase attack power while unbridled strength is active. Uh, not that please. No, you aren't too far into the open world, but how do you feel about its design? Too big to, uh, I, from what I've seen of it so far, it's, it feels about right. Is this part two of the Final Fantasy VII remake? Yes, this is Rebirth. Uh, as for the design of the open world, it's inter, it, one, uh, I don't think it's too big yet. But we'll see. We're still a little early to decide that. But uh, I don't feel overwhelmed by it. Which is like a good sign, I guess. And later on, you do get a car, too. And I think, from what I understand of it, it's more like they have zones that are big instead of just like everything like gigantic. Uh, Liza P. Sim video soon. Uh, I think that'd be really hard to make a decent Sim video out of that. I did play through it, and I liked it, but I don't know if I'll be sending it. Aerith or Tifa? What are you asking me about them? I think Aerith probably is a way better cook than Tifa. How about that? <laughs> what do we have up here? The yellow paint. Look, it's yellow and blue. You need two different color tones. Which do I prefer? In what way? <laughs> you got add contacts, man. This love, maybe I prefer one for something else. Maybe I prefer the combat style of, you know, Tifa, but I prefer the healing abilities of Aerith. I, I am a man who, like, you know, likes depth. All right. Legendary yellow paint. Yeah, the, the biggest political battle of our age. Can I swim into there? Nope. Water from a rock. Answer the question, nerd. Well, he has to ask the proper question. How about that? You like depth? Okay, you cannot possibly read into that anything other than I like your character depth. Why not both? Yeah, why not both? See, YouTube chat is a better idea. Less toxicity over there. Like I said, I, I, I declared last night that, you know, Cloud's mom is the winner of any of these competitions you chat we want to get into. Cache locations. You may find useful supplies hidden amongst abandoned facilities and settlements. Open all the chests in a location to mark it on your map as complete. Hell, Genova is actually best girl, too. People always forget about her. I see you, Dark, playing YouTube and Twitch against each other. You know, maybe that's my strategy. <laughs> Kind of mist potion. So, have there been any more rumors that supposed FF9 remake there's, they've been claiming to be working on forever? I haven't heard anything about that in a while. Kind of Moogle Metal. Oh, that shit's back into it again. I wonder if they got that weird kid that dressed as the Moogle. Are they just like, you know what? We gave you a real Moogle this time. Haven't seen Tiva's honking Hondas, right, man? Th those have been available to be seen anytime you want in Rule 34 porn for like decades now. If you if you wanted them, they've been available. No why everyone's losing their shit over them. Are you excited for them to eventually remake FF13? 
Okay, you, you know the answer to this question. Why are you leading with it? <laughs> like, I... Uh, yeah. And they're not going to remake that piece of shit. At least I can't imagine they would. There's no reason to. Absolutely zero reason to. I like exploration chat. Okay. Mm hmm. Any excuse to get him rambling about? Well, I don't really ramble about FF13. I just say fuck that game. That's not a ramble. That's a declarative statement. What am I gonna ramble about? It's a piece of crap. Not just no good piece of crap. There you go. Done. Conversation over. something over here. You're partial to Yuffie, but in terms of combat, I played Integrate and Yuffie's great. Her combat style is really good. Alright, I guess there's nothing else up here. And I think this is where we came from originally, right? Yeah, that's the gate up there. Usually the thing that people want you to ramble about, The Last of Us Part 2, yeah, that. but you know what? What's left to say about that game? That being said, I will be sending the DLC for The Last of Us 1. That, you better believe I'm hitting that up. Better fucking believe. Uh, yeah. Uh, does this here have some mechanics from FF15, like cooking? I noticed you picked up some... It doesn't have cooking, but uh, I'm picking up stuff that I can transmute into items. So it has crafting. So, no, none of that, like, aha, I've discovered a new recipe shit. Which is, like, one of the thing, few things people universally love from FF15. Which was Ignis. And his love of, like, cooking everything on, like, your product placement. <laughs> Let the last of us two stay dead. Unfortunately, it's like getting it. You know, it's gonna be you'll know, turn into a TV show. So, so it'll be stronger than ever. You'll hear about the entire arguments all over again. You'll never be free. Rumor they said after they're going to make Final Fantasy X. Uh, everything's getting a rumor these days. Everything's getting a rumor. Who knows? All right, let's let's cross here. Chad, did you hear they're gonna remake your Banjo Kazooie one and two? And they're gonna even go to the arms from Microsoft releasing stuff on Nintendo consoles now, so it's a perfect time. You should give Vampire a replay Sunday. I'm good. We'll need that. If I really want to do that, I play that developer's new game, which is that your know, ghost hunting game or something. Don't tease me, I need Banjo 2 remake. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised Microsoft hasn't done the Banjo 1 and 2 graphical remake after the Spyro and uh, Crash Bandicoot were a big success. I mean, they have it right there. You could just like, boom, release that graphical updated game. You, you know, make people happy. Do you not want to make people happy, Microsoft? No, you don't, because you fucking suck. That's why. Oh, well. Chat, or chat. how many of you are also one of those people that think you could run a multi-billion dollar company better than the people in charge? I'm one of those people. I believe I could run Microsoft pretty well. Cannot kill bird. The game is a failure. It failed the bird test. That's a big sin in my opinion. You failed the bird test. Pleasant. I would like a chocobo, please. The bar is low, but anyone would be an improvement over WB's current CEO. Who is actually the you know the CEO of WB? Not that I actually care. He's gonna be some like name I'll never remember. But I think it's actually more the shareholders than it is like the CEO. 
you know, the people who make the real decisions. David Zaslav. Yeah, that sounds like a horrible... You know, that's a name that just feels corporate. Your left ball sack could run Microsoft better. I think I've heard that exact insult. Only it's said that, you know, Microsoft's CEOs are ball sacks. Let's fight the blue elephant people. Use a cess on an enemy to reveal its elemental weakness as well as effective strategies. You know what? Sure, game. I'll take we'll it. Take How come Red 13 doesn't have a synergy bar like the other two members do? I just now, I noticed that last night, but I haven't figured out the reason why he does it. Wait, wait do I not have? Oh, I don't have the. I don't have the scan ability right now. Oh no, it's a sus. All right, docile herbivores that roam the. Oh, I attacked a friendly enemy. Not easily angered, they will nevertheless fly into an uncontrollable rampage of sufficiently broke. Exploiting their elemental weakness will pressure them. Uh, fire. Seemed kind of obvious, though. Trying to build up vengeance mode since I haven't been able to use it yet. There you go, you gotta release like tank damage. Moving on then. Do you think remakes are getting out of hand? I don't know. I can't deny there's been plenty of remakes I've enjoyed. Uh so I can't just like be against remakes. Uh I, I really like the Resident Evil remakes. I've liked even FF7, it's remakes, and there's a few others too. And you know. As long as they're good, I had no problem with remakes. And, yeah, as long as they like respect the the original and the, don't do so. Here, there are bad remakes. Uh, what was that one from Blizzard where they is Warcraft Three, right? Where they made it so you can't even play the original Warcraft. Bad remake. There you go. That that you know you make it so you can't even play the original. Like no no no, this is the one you want you to play now. Don't play that old one. Then then I'm like no 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 no, you've done it wrong. You've done it wrong going to be honest with you, but I didn't like Banjo. I've never even played Banjo, so I have no opinion on it. Cutscene most people will never see, chat. Because most people aren't stupid enough to try to go back to calm. Alright. I understand. Or the majority of the remakes have been justified. I mean, there's plenty of remakes. I, I mean, everyone's got their remake list. Let's be honest. Every one of you have thought about, man, I'd like to see them remake this game. Uh, Cognic Cat, you have a good night, man. I'm gonna go play more of this myself. Just stopped in by chat and like, hey, thanks for stopping by, man. But yeah, everyone has like had their own personal internal chat. All right, chat, give me your top three remake picks that you would personally like to see. Let's see them. <laughs> Let's get some, you know, engagement going. This is the way you bait it out. Yeah, give me your top three remake picks. <laughs> okay. Hmm, I just kind of want to, like, you know, does anyone else would do that thing where they want to, like, just get all the map? Like I do. Like, I want to see on everything. Resident Evil Outbreak, that was the multiplayer one on PS2, right? Metal Gear Solid, the first one? Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, we have a brave man in chat. Final Fantasy Tactics, yo, that's a good one for that, yo, 2.5D stuff, Square Enix Dust, as well. I think they even made a game similar to that recently. It was on the Switch. Knights of the Old Republic. That was going to happen, but apparently that's no longer going to be the case. Vagrant. Vagrant, a vagrant Story of that. Holy shit. I've mentioned I'd like to see a remake of Vagrant Story. You and me, brother. We're going to get a sandwich one day. Because you have taste. Not that that game is perfect, but you know what? It could be made perfect because it was like interesting and gothic and weird as shit. 
Legend of Dragoon. Oh, there you go, Puff. I mean, P but Puff already knows that I like Legend of Dragoon. I've mentioned before that I'd like to see Parasite Eve get like a modern treatment. I think that'd be good. Uh, does anyone need healing? Uh, Clown does. Also, Del Latigale. Thank you for your uh, membership, my man. Much appreciated. The Fear games? I never played those. That was the one where they like... I know about Fear 2 because it was infamous for like being a game that like, hey, don't you want to play as like a cool lesbian? <laughs> like we have lesbians in our game. That's really all I ever knew about. Fe oh, no, no, no. Fear Effect. Never mind. I'm being stupid. Fear Effect was the game about lesbians. And like, is there like Resident Evil plus lesbians? Uh, Fear though is a good game. You know, where you like, you know, bullet time. Uh, forgetting my, my, my game knowledge here. You know, but Resident Evil plus lesbian is not a bad idea for a game. Oof. Being bound. So many... Okay, okay. Okay, do you, so does someone, is, someone's probably already answered this. Do you build up synergy points in, only in combat and then they get, you know, they're gone after combat's over? Feels that way. You want know use a bio. Yeah, I think I need to switch to like another teammates and try yo know, Tifa and Baron out. Aerith and Tifa. Let's try Barrett and Tifa. All right, you can set. Oh, you can set them as leader. All right. There are any opinions on Silent Hill 2 remake? Honestly, it's the one game I actually want to see revisited, in a way that's not a shitty remaster. Uh, I will say this. I have no reason to trust Konami at all, and no one else does either. So I would not get my hopes too high. I will also say. I love Silent Hill 2, but my god, does that is that series been held the fuck back by Silent Hill 2? Silent Hill 2 has been a chain around that friend. I mean, besides being owned by Konami, it's been a chain around the neck of that series since its inception because no one else once will let Silent Hill be anything other than Silent Hill 2. It's been like stuck in like this fever, like, no, no, no. This has to be like Silent Hill 2, but slightly different. Every game since then, just about. Uh, like I said, it, 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 it's a great game, don't get me wrong. Very good at storytelling and characterization. And it did horror games a, you know, a massive service. But my god, it's time to let Silent Hill, if you're going to keep trying to make new ones, not just try to be Silent Hill 2. Uh, I've made this argument before. Like, You can't really redo Silent Hill 2 because you already know the twist. And if you're just trying to have like another game like Silent Hill 2, but it has like the trauma twist, which is now what I'm calling it, Everyone's going to be expecting it. No one's going to care. You have to, like, drop the idea that every single main character has, like, hidden trauma and is, like, a, you know, is a narrator you can't actually trust. As for the remake, I honestly just hope they stick as close as possible to the original game without changing anything other than, like, maybe slight improvements here and there. Because I don't trust Blooper Team and I don't trust Konami. I was short message. It had some decent environments, and it, but its plot was just like, I helped, it, I caused it. It was predictable that you know you bullied a girl basically and made her kill herself, and now you're stuck in a, like a rundown crack house. 
and you, you know, you're trying to kill your own self, and then you don't because you your friendship. Final Two Remake has no hope. I mean, the trailers have been decent, I guess. Nothing too worrying about them. Uh, the, but you know, it just, I don't know. It just doesn't hit properly because you, you, you in the back of your head you're expecting it to be terrible in some way. All right, we've seen a good. All right, it's time to like go over here now. I'm surprised I haven't come across a single like side quest in the map yet. I'd rather have Konami make a new horror IP. I don't think they'd do very good at that either. The Dead Space remake was unreal. Yeah, that was a good example of like sticking really close to the original, but you know, making a few small changes where they could, like letting Isaac chat and talk. Uh, Dartboard, your hopes are interesting. My hopes. No one's ever called me Dartboard before. You're the first, so take credit for that one. Uh, like I like I said, I I I preface that by saying I like Silent Hill too. I think it's a great game. I just don't think every single Silent Hill that comes after it needs to be like Silent Hill 2. And it's only holding back what could have been maybe good games. Tifa excels at close range combat and uses quick combos to deal damage. First square to execute a normal attack. Hold it down to deliver a single power from low. Unbridled strength can be used to temporarily enhance her. Unique, you know, trying to play Street Fighter. Yeah. was kind of like my favorite to play as in the original game. And still need more abilities. Dive kick. I'm happy. Also, uh, Super chat from Sweeping Hamster, two bucks. Do you hate this game as much as Remake? I actually like Remake. <laughs> so you get the wrong opinion on my opinion on that one. Uh, I had issues with Remake, uh, but nothing that really killed the deal for me. Uh, but I was, for the most part, positive on what they did with Remake. As for this game, I'm still concerned with what they're going to do with the plot now that they can, like, you know, go crazy with it. And I'm still not entirely sold on the open world stuff. And I have, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up liking it, though, overall. Because I just love the characters in FF7. As long as they don't fuck up too bad with characterization and world, it's I'm probably gonna be like overall positive on it. Isn't this the guy we got a ride from and integrate? What's your favorite game series that was born and died in one generation of consoles? Uh Parasite Eve. Parasite Eve really was just a PS1 series. Again for the right to call. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Bill, today, Bill, that Bill. Is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight that away. They like thinking we want we want to need a place to You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. He does. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you go, you kids go have your fun. I just want to watch. Swing by the ranch once you're done with uh, whatever you got going on. Love to keep chatting, but this rust bucket ain't gonna fix itself. Just had to start acting up on me, temperamental old goat. Who am I to question this polycule? <laughs> yeah, you know what? He's a shipper, all right. 
Thinks Cloud's got that Riz. You know, Cloud is the most unriz like man available. Other than Squall. Squall is like the only one who has less Riz. God, if we ever get like an FF9 remake, Zidane is going to blow people's minds. Like, you can have a Final Fantasy character with like a guy who's like hitting on girls. <laughs> what is this? Dissidia, Final Fantasy. I've never played any of those games. No, for some reason, the idea of like, oh man, it's like all the Final Fantasy heroes and villains in one place. And it's like, eh? <laughs> but is that good? Right, so where am I headed to? Uh, he's sending me over this way. I kind of want to like ignore him and go up here, but I think we should head to like Chocobo Ranch. Because then maybe we can get a freaking Chocobo and make this travel a little bit faster. Official fan fiction, what, Dissidia? Yeah, I mean, I would hope so. <laughs> Though, then again, with that whole Strangers of Paradise game, that feels like it's almost very connected to Dissidia, since it's made by the same developer. Barrett told. Barrett specialized in range attacks, following him to strike enemies that Cloud cannot reach with his sword. Holding square releases sustained bursts of automatic fire. Pressing triangle releases powerful overcharge ability, greatly filling his ATB gauge. Press triangle again to charge a depleted gauge. Pressing triangle after using an ability or a standard attack will greatly fill the overcharge gauge. Barret is like Doom Guy in Final Fantasy. So they've changed up overcharge a bit, haven't they? Max Ungar. That's how you can tell a real Final Fantasy OG chat and they call it Max Ungar. Rip and tear. You know, chat, I need someone to do one of those YouTube videos where they look into the absurdity of a video game and show see just how absurd it is the idea of having a minigun for an arm. I'm pretty sure that recoil would make, in, make it impossible. <laughs> to ever hit anything, your arm would just be like thrown into the sky the moment you tried to shoot anything. Then again, Barrett, Barrett is a big guy. Maybe he's got enough muscle strength to do it. While many chocobo stops built in the days of the Republic have fallen into- Wait, there was a Republic? Respair? Uh, their benches are mostly attacked. The, I like that these benches are all the remains of the old free world. Use a cushion. Only got the one. Do I even need it right now, though? Uh, I don't really need it. That's one thing I noticed is that they added more lore. Yeah, there's, there was, I remember mentioning that before during, I forget when a live stream at some point that FF7, as much as I love it, they don't, there's nothing that really seemed like it existed other than the ancients before Shinra. They don't talk about any former countries other than maybe Wutai. Like Shinra just like, seems like it was always there and there was no other countries or anything like that. Where I think they are now trying to rectify that now. And like you have like different regions that I'm assuming were different countries until Shinra basically took them over. Pokemon connection there, sitting on benches, it was revolutionary. Yeah, it makes sense, that's how you heal yourself. For the Republic, yeah, it's just the Republic. They were a democracy, you see. So, so pretty. I must kill everything in it. What video game protagonist deserves Nobel Peace Prize the most? Definitely not Gandhi of your, your civilization fame. <laughs> uh, what Final Fantasy protagonist deserves? I've never heard this conversation to come up before. I've never even thought of it. think of any, honestly. Video game characters are usually violent psychopaths. Yeah. 
What's up, Lucky? Did you get off the phone? Is there enemy skills in this game? I don't know, and I'm curious about that. Because enemy skill material is a thing. There was 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 there any wait. Was there enemy skill material in remake? I kind of forgot. I think there was, wasn't there? Yeah, there was, yeah. So my memory was like, yeah, I don't think I used it very much, but there's only like a few skills you could actually get with it in the remake. So maybe it's expanded in this. Nuclear Gandhi reference. Look, it's like one of the oldest video game memes out there. You gotta say it every, every time that comes up. Okay, so... You know, I'm being methodical in my search pattern here in case you can't tell. Just smoking some indica. You know what? Don't blame you. Probably one of those days, right? How's the streams being handled tonight, by the way? I kind of forgot to ask. Everything seems like it's running all right. Enemy skill? It's in the game, yeah. Let's let's see if it ends up being useful this time. There's only like a few you got in the remake. And I, one or two of them were all right. But then you had like moves like suicide. Where I'm assuming maybe they renamed it to unalive yourself magic. After being on hold with uh, BOA for an hour and a half, I did, oh yeah, being is there any experience where you're on hold for an hour and a half where you just don't want to, like, claw your own skin off? Big question, does this game have a screensaver option? A screensaver option? I'm not even honestly sure what you mean. Do you mean, like, uh, when you're in, like, the PlayStation Home? Where you have, like, a theme? I think it does. Like, every big game usually has, like, PlayStation Home theme. Uh, uh, okay, I gotta also point out that wasn't that big of a question. <laughs> Does this game have a screensaver? PS5 background theme win for myself when Sony like hits me up with that collab. How about that? Hey Sony, I, I'm, I'm in the business. Hmm. Getting into the woods. Chad, does you remember FF10-2 when they made a big deal about jumping? Like, there are certain points in that game you... Oh, you can jump in your Final Fantasy game now. Look how far we've come. You can jump across almost every ledge. Alright, where are we at? Okay, we're approaching destination. I think over here is the chocobo place I need to go to, but hey, we'll see what this is first. 15, yeah, but in like in 10 was like the first time they, yeah, we added a jump button. Uh, what's the least game you were surprised by? Uh, I'm not sure, but in like negative or positive ways. Oh, Dart, you have much to learn about all the, the might screen save. <laughs> one of the greatest gaming achievements in FF7 original came close to having one. I mean, all right. News to me, bro. I didn't know screensavers was such a big hot button issue. I haven't even given like a single thought to screensavers in years. Like, do I like this image? You use it as a background? If so, you don't really need screensavers. First RPG to have a jump feature? They didn't have them for a long time because most of them were 2D. Or like they're, you know, they didn't need them. What's that light shit? Oh, that's just the guy you were to go. Oh, the swamp. Midgar. Well, no, we should probably hit up the you know, the, you know, the Chocobo Ranch. We're trying to get to the to the damn swamp. It's kind of a big deal. Need a sleek saber. 
I'm gonna assume that's for Cloud. Uh, Sleek Saber, a large broadsword that has inherited the hopes of those who fight. Wait, that's the same as the. Oh, that's. No, okay, there it is. Republic era blade, polished into a refined shop and sheen. Okay, I kind of need to like. I don't want to stop using that until I've got the the focus thrust on though. <laughs> so I need to like focus on learning focus thrust. Fantasy Mystic Quest, you could jump with an extendable claw. You're, there, there are a few people who played that game, though. I've never seen someone bring up Mystic Quest facts before. <clears throat> Chad, have you ever entered a swamp and you just get like a different like filter color over the world? It happens in every game. You're in the swamp? Okay, like make it overcast. Stop having it be sunny. Through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure, why not? You trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. Okay, oh, it's. It, I've known it always as the Midgar Zolum. You can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word, and he'll pick you out. A bird. <laughs> <laughs> well, can we rent some birds? Can we? Fine. <laughs> And that's how you get your man to spend money on you. You look cute and giggle. Why does this music remind me of Breath of the Wild? I don't know, it doesn't really remind me of that. I do like that they flesh out Aerith and Tiva's friendship in both. The, yeah, they've made that a much bigger deal. Then again, I feel like they're fleshing out all the friendships. I mean, they have all these new cutscenes they need to display. Might as well do something with them. I actually wonder what happens if you try to swim through it without a chocobo. Do you just get, like, eaten? Let's find out. Let us find out, Chad. Let us see if we get a funny cutscene. You know, the failure cutscene. Like, you tried to do what we said not to do. Now you die. Oh, I just won't even let you. <laughs> it's like, nope, can't swim in this shit water. Shoot the swamp water. It won't let me, like, switch to Berto outside of combat, unfortunately. They, they should have just had the Midgar Zolum come out and eat you if you tried. Handing out prime dating advice for free. <laughs> oh, it's, it's something that all women know anyways, inherently. Looking cute gets you far in life. Are we in the Red Dead Redemption 2? So, you know, I didn't spend nearly enough time in Red Dead Redemption, you know, 2 exploring shit. I had to, like, rush through that game. I'm starting to, never mind. I'm gonna like maybe rescind my opinion that the combat is a little bit too busy. No, I'm starting to get a better hang of it. Uh, 
You need to remember to thrust. Well, yeah, you're right, I do. I need to remember to thrust. Thrust, Cloud, it's what you're good at. All right, let's head up to Chocobo Sam's. You would like to go online in Red Dead Redemption 2 and just waltz into the towns, grab a whiskey, sit on a bench, and people watch? I mean, that is one of the few games where you can actually do that pretty effectively due to how much, yo know, money Rockstar puts into, like, you know, the world building with NPCs. Hey, and guess what DLC there is in Red Dead Redemption 1 that I can make a DLC send video over? Suck. Midgar, Midgar Summer is the Midgar Serpent or J Jorma. Yeah, I've, just, I've always called it the Zolom, though, because I, I don't know. I kind of like the name Zolom. So stealing from them is a waste of... No, you can... If... uh, No, you can... Stealing is usually an FF is a good idea to do it because you can get a, you can really rack up some good items, but you really have to level up the steel material, too, and also make it so you get more... Well, you have a higher chance of steel rate. I've only ever really focused on stealing a lot in Final Fantasy IX, where it's like really good to use steel. Uh, I've never really focused on steel too much in other Final Fantasy games. All right, where? Okay, can I get another one of them benches? Whatever, I'll use a. Uh, I got one mist potion. I really like use my my MP. Biggest complaint of FF9 steel is that it's kind of shit for most of the game. Boss fights can spend way longer. Yeah, usually you want to steal from every boss fight though. You get a lot of like really good equipment. But uh I've never really tried doing much stealing in the other Final Fantasy game though. So I'm pretty sure there's plenty of the other ones where it's good. You can pronounce it Mythgarsamar. I'm just gonna still call it the Midgard Zola. <laughs> if if I'm being honest with you. But yeah, that's the Midgar Zolum right there. Rust, uh, uh, don't worry, I was thrusting. <laughs> Don't kill it so quick. I need to thrust one more time. <laughs> they didn't let me thrust. FF8 stealing was the most jank to me because there's item drops from bosses and enemies when you don't steal. Also, in FF8, you usually want to turn them into cards too, right? Okay, don't you want to turn your enemies into playing cards? It's the coolest. Hmm... Uh, I don't know if I should use my one and only cushion yet. Hmm, I've got actually got six cushions. Never mind, we can use one. 
Barry didn't let you thrust. He got jealous of my my white boy thrust game. You call that thrusting cloud? <laughs> Burning enemies in the cards like something I've shown in anime. I mean, it, it, you know what? That's how you get the best items in the game. It should let you be able to rack up your magic quicker, too. The card economy was no joke in FF8. Don't forget drawing magic for 50 minutes. Yeah, but you know, everyone likes to remind me that isn't the only way you can get magic. There's better, more efficient ways to argue. You suck. Like, you know what? That's what the game tells you to do. FF8, you had a card for every character and can play a game, but you could turn it again. This game has its card game too, but I haven't quite come to terms with it yet. I kind of like, you know, the, the, the DLC's, uh, you know, Port Condor minigame a little bit better than the card game. Yeah, I just want to fight more, all right? Rust cloud. Rust for the planet. Let's finish this. You know what, I think I've come to grips with the combat again, so. Complaint rescinded. Geralt appears out of a portal. He appeared in a Soul Calibur game. I think, didn't he? So he could have a Legio DLC. A Witcher. You got any, like, witches or... Witches I can bang around here? Actually, that he might go after Aerith if that's the case. Condor, Condor game in the original? Well, yeah, everyone did. But in the DLC Intergrade, it was great. Excellent, even. Hold on a second. Let me check things and make sure everything's working properly. Yeah, everything seems like it's working well. Okay. Chad, when you when you add a second stream to your, your repertoire, it just increases your, like, tech anxiety. Tiff and Air is still making you act unwise. Mm, well... Don't worry, you'll get that porn addiction under control. <laughs> it's what you know the world's all about these days. These all, you know, you got you know you got a problem. Improve yourself. Oh, they're adorable. Kill. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, let's see. Uh, hold on a second. Might need to refresh my YouTube chat. Is my YouTube chat frozen? Here we go. Let me pop it back out again. There we go. Now I see. I'm just boring. <laughs> Side by side again, like they belong together. Alright, all good. I had to like pop it back out again.
Uh, you have mastered the thrust. Oh, did I master my thrust game? I will take the easy jokes. Uh, it froze for like a couple seconds. I'm like, well, I was talking about my uh my twi my YouTube chat. This feel like it's frozen. I did like refresh it. Uh, but some people say every once in a while there's apparently like a freeze in YouTube streaming. But I think that's pretty common on YouTube from what I've seen of YouTube streaming. Shut up, yo, Jack. No one asked your opinions here. Uh, okay. Cloud, you've uh, mastered this. You have. We can now switch over to like this fancy looking thing. <laughs> uh, no link material slots, huh? Oh well. Actually, don't have any free materia to put on me. Firestorm Blade is pretty useful. I don't... Uh, yeah, I mean... Actually, I don't think I ever put that stuff on Tifa that I got, did I? Mothman that keeps fatigue away when tired grants immunity to sleep. I don't even know who that'd be useful for. Sometimes there's ads that randomly pop up in YouTube Street. Yeah, I have no control over that. I, 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 or at least I don't think I do. I, I, I'm not hitting a button to play ads. I think YouTube is like, let us make some money. I know it's really super annoying when that happens, but uh, I'll look into see. Maybe uh, there's an option to turn that off. I, I'm also I just gotten used to Twitch always like automatically playing ads these days. Had a few gummies, about to make some food. What kind of gummies? All right, here we are. Chocobo form. I'm, I'm going to assume chocobo breeding is going to be saved for the third game, and it's not in this. Since you really need to be able to travel over the place to do it properly. Question, Chad. Do you think Cloud in his life has ever used a normal size sword? Like, here, here's a regular broadsword for you, Cloud. Chocobo inbreeding? Yes, we're all guilty of doing the Chocobo inbreeding when we play the game originally. <laughs> Pleasure to see you all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need him to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B. But now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Hey, do you remember Chocobos. when you told us to go fuck in the swamp, old man? The <laughs> bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. It's Titus in like 50 years. He's put on some weight. And he switched to a whip. You're sure it can be romantic? I don't know. You know, doing the deed in some swamp water. I don't know. That, that, that sounds like you're risking an infection or two. Oh, it's the Chocobo theme song for the ranch. I love that music. <laughs> Good old banjo tune. Something I can help you with? Uh, 
Now tell me about that. Uh, be the serpent that lives Chocobo. In You're right. That is what it is. Give me the hundred bits, by the way. Than a whisper, and quicker than a lightning bolt. Cause the water to so much as ripple, it'll come barreling after you, deep in maw and all. Mm. Gives me chills just thinking about it. Lucky for you, most chocobos can outrun the devil. Though I'm sure you already knew that. Any man of the road would have heard the tales. And judging by that sword, you've been the subject of a few yourself. Of course you have. If there's one thing I know besides chocobos, it's how to spot a seasoned frontiersman. Hmm. What's up with Red 13 in the background over there? <laughs> He's looking a little odd. Are you, is he like hiking himself? Like he's marking his territory. He needs to get up high. I've seen this animal behavior before. He's even burying it. You might could talk to Billy over in the stables. He'll be happy to tell you all you need to know. Either that or he's trying to set the plank on fire behind him. Or are you just stuck? Litter box? You know what? We don't ask him about that. Oh. Don't mind if I do. From a range attack with your partner, activate in sequence, trigger a three hit combo. Hmm. Magic a time without spending MP or or is piece of damage yield by basic round of combo by three percent. Do that instead. Wish chocobos existed in real life. We call those <laughs> ostriches. They're about as close as you get. About the same size, but you probably don't want to ride one. Ostriches are assholes, I'm very much aware. But you know what? It's better than trying to get on like uh What are those birds that'll disembowel you? <laughs> Castle, yeah, they're like they look like they're just raptors with feathers. Which is what a raptor actually had. Uh any machines, yeah, more. Oh, they got two cushions, huh? Troop of sin off. Uh, could buy another steel material, but I don't really... Mm. I think we need another healing material. Because weirdly enough, I don't think Aerith has one. <laughs> So could get that for Barrett. I think I'll hold off. Barrett, that's prayer. Yeah, prayer doesn't heal quite as much, though. Don't mess with emus either. Even the Australian military backed off. I'm, I'm aware of the failures of the Australian military. <laughs> 2,000 gil in this economy? I know, right? I don't even know. Where, we're, we're not even seeing him getting money from killing enemies this time. All right. Uh, here it is. I could buy another piece of material for him. Maybe like lightning.
you actually get any money, it's just a very small amount. I gotta say, these two vending machines are so... They just so... The design of each one is so radically different, they, it looks odd as hell. And it's also like, how many people actually have a magical tome that you need to put vending machines on for them to like, you know, advance their magic tomes? Anachronistic? Yeah. It's like, I, I can't imagine everyone's walking around with like a book of, like a magical book of self-improvement that you need to like, you know, we gotta have vending machines out there for those people. doesn't like shooting lightning why do monsters have money they've taken it from people they've killed maybe or maybe they just have to pay rent like everyone else <laughs> I do kind of like that all the cars in the world of Final Fantasy VII look like they're straight out of like the 50s and 60s. Somewhat. Not quite, but they're, they have that aesthetic to them. What are you playing next after this? Uh, depends on how long this takes me to get through because we got that Alone in the Dark game coming up soon. And there is also uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. I would also like to play that Pacific Drive game at some point. Chocobos. You know, I'm starting to think Chocobo Sam isn't that good at breeding them. I only see one color here. It was like that FF7 has a unique cyberpunk world that isn't really uh, replicated elsewhere. Yeah, it's like only a cyberpunk in Midgar, though. Everything else is actually kind of rustic. Well, like, uh, even like Junon, which is the other big city, is like... They're more just like a, like a seaport with like a fascist angle to them. Very patriotic and, you know, nationalistic. Still haven't played Persona 3 Reload. Actually, speaking of Persona, chat, I have news for you. I am adding, officially I added to my Patreon. If it gets a thousand paying members, I will send Persona 5. That's right. I mean, I don't know if that's doable or not. Depends on how popular I am, I guess. But if, if I get a thousand paying members on Patreon, I will have to send Persona 5. And if I get 2,000 paying members, I will have to send the Persona 3 remake. So it's going to be up to people they really like me enough to spend $3 a month, I guess. But I, I decided, like, you know what? Maybe it's time we put this fucking thing away. <laughs> so we can stop joking about it. You've been saving Moo coins for nothing? No, you gotta use them to do what you just did, which is highlight, you know, your comments and everything else. Chocobo Bill doesn't believe in mixed race chocobos. Oh, man. Well, I'm one. Oh, you're gonna be, you're gonna go in for the, like I said, I'm making my Patreon cheap as fuck. It's only gonna be $3 for basically everything. You'll get DLC, classic sins, vlogs, your name in the credits of game sins, game sins early, and if we get like a thousand paying members, hey, we'll get that, uh, Persona 3, I mean, Persona 5 video, and then a Persona 3 video of 2,000. Dark, no, dark, yes. I am being generous. I, I want my Patreon to be a success, let's be honest. So I had that idea, like, you know what? This might encourage people. <laughs> it's a stretch goal, basically. Hello, child labor. Howdy! It's on the side. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could've fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But... I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <laughs> the thing is... We don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. 
only cost you a grand. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds... How do you make money day. here if you're well, always, like, lowering your deal at the first sign of reluctance? If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Hey, if you catch our runaway go. bird, he's yours, you yeah. Know. Bird you'll ever meet. By far. You reach 5,000 members, you'll resend about 13, all of them. I'm good. An image of pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> If y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here... Oh, I want to be a doctor. And I'm really sad inside. 5,000 members and you'll stream your old sin videos. I mean, done. <laughs> that's, a, that's a win for me, if that's the case. Need something? Gear serves all sorts of purposes, from the cosmetic to the practical. Do you think he actually injured his nose, or is that for, like, sleep apnea? Won't cost you a gill. Golden plumes only. Start by looking for fresh tracks. Once you spot them... Stream them all in one sitting. That would be a very away. long stream. 10,000 members. Look, that, that ain't gonna happen, chat. <laughs> very few, you know, Patreons get even more than, like, a thousand. Like, 10,000 would put you in, like, the top 0.1% of Patreon or something. Birds in the wild are much more skittish than kept ones. Just to give you an idea, if I had, like, since my lowest tier is going to be 3 bucks, if I had 10,000 paying members, I'd be, like, $30,000 a month. I ain't that fortunate in life. Or that popular. Like, I, I'm probably going to struggle to get more than a few hundred people on it. Yeah, how about 3,000 members you'll eat a ghost pepper? <laughs> Alright, let, let's just keep it at the persona stretch goal for the time being, alright? If those get you know, taken up, then we'll think about other stretch goals. A timeless rod. Well, those acne strips? I think he's too young for acne, though. Uh, okay, I think we need to, like... You know, we need to, like, use Chrono Aegeus a bit more. Actually, no. Her original is Guard Stick, and it's already, like, Arcane... Actually, no, I gotta do that. That's a pretty good ability. Uh... Yeah, I need to switch party up anyways. Let's go back to this. Night, everyone. Hey, Garrus, have a good night, man. Your rod is also timeless. Hey, do you guys sell vegetable farmer's market? But you only sell chocobos, huh? Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose. But he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then, do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but... Yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching Wait, out. Is he, is... It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, oh. so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh! Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Yeah, Chocobo Sam, you right. he's the guy who helped you out Should in Walmart. Get... Sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw 
a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye... He has, like, she's also, wearing what I would say is, like, the anime version of the Southern Bell dress. Them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Like, she would be in, like, anime's Gone with the Wind. Wait, actually, has anime ever made Gone with the Wind? <laughs> a wrench is tax shop would be have chocobo gear for sale. Curious bits purified with. Yeah, this is just stuff you can like make. I hope Pico doesn't Scarlet O'Hara <laughs> You know what? I don't know. I don't think any uh, anime has ever taken up you know, Gone with the Wind, but you know what? They can make it finally into something decent. Add some giant robots to it. There you go, you got yourself an anime season. I mean, come on, you'd have like the, the, the mecha piloted confederacy and like the union battling it out over like while the old General Sherman marches to the sea. This writes itself. Let us catch a chocobo. Audio mixing is a bit weird sometimes, like Aerith sounded really far away, but she was just right there. Hmm. Closest thing we got is an anime Nazis and girls panzer. Uh, I think, actually, uh, the you mean Tanya the Evil? I, I think I've heard of that before. Uh, she. I don't see any tracks here. Clint Eastwood is related to General Sherman. I'm not surprised. I'm assuming if it ran away, it ran out the front gate. Chocobo, there they are. You meant girls and Panzer. It's an anime about cute anime girls and Nazi tanks. Oh, okay. Well, the one I talked about was also about cute girls and Nazi tanks. Kentucky Fried Chocobo. Hey, they eat. The, they eat. I don't know why I said eat. <laughs> they eat these in your FF16. They mention it. You like a Chocobo pot pie. You're back. Welcome back, Molly. Can Cloud run any faster? Uh, this is it. It's fast enough on it. Well, you get a chocobo if you want more speed. Which is what we're about to do. He can? Uh, well, yeah, I think he can. Yeah, there is a sprint button. I'm just not using it because, you know what? I'm, I'm satisfied with the speed. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Hey, hip hop de chocobo. Approach Pico without being noticed. If you're in danger of being spotted by him or one of your pack mates or one of his pack mates, quickly press circle to roll out of sight. You can also distract chocobos by throwing stones you pick up using L1 to aim and square to throw. Oh, we've got the, yo, the stealth plants. Any rocks nearby?
shit. It's okay, we'll get another shot. Retry. I remember the basics of CQC. Hey, whoever's having an uh, arm, you have a good night, man. Alright, wait for it to lower its head. Any day now. <laughs> Won't notice me since I'm behind it. Can you not throw greens? It said you can throw rocks, but I don't think I have any. seeing the live videos from me. Oh, well, thank you, my man. Jackson Brumfield. Uh, thank you for coming out and showing your support. I love making them, and also, yeah, I've been streaming for years, but I've only recently started streaming on YouTube, so hopefully people <coughs> well, people do seem to like it. Let me, like, be declarative instead of hopeful. Being declarative is always better than just being a hopeful little bitch. Oh, why am I so toxic when I'm doing YouTube streams? It's like the worst thing to say possible. Don't be hopeful. Be declarative. Stay with you. No, shit. Fuck. <laughs> did you equip the bait? I'm assuming I didn't tell me anything about equipping bait. Look, this is, I'm just trying to get through this. <laughs> YouTube makes you dart again. I think you might have a point. I'm used to being dart again on YouTube. Oh, that's cool. It gave me a checkpoint past the one that caught me. <laughs> All right, pick up a rock. He knows I'm here. They made the chocobo sound too fucking cute. What's up, Alex? How you doing, man? Well, we have a chocobo. Now hit the Isn't dubstep. He just the cutest? <laughs> you know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> what does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? You know what? They've already done hard, Sorry, like hardcore rock. You might as well do like something like this for the Chocobo song. You know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. Back to the ranch it is then. This is like penis pop music. Good stuff. Did no mer did uh yo I wonder if this was made by like the guy made used to make all the music. Red talks? You didn't know red talks? 
I mean, that's a weird thing about this game. Like, everyone was surprised when they saw Red 13 talk in the previous game, but no one else in this world is shocked at all that we have a talking dog. I would put this on while I'm in the shower. You didn't know he could talk? Yeah, he's got a good voice actor. He has a... He's, te he's, he's a sapient species. People just think the Red 13 has peanut butter in his mouth. And what, that someone's ventriloquism like doing the voice? Let's use this new move I got. Firebolt Blade. Pretty good. It's on you. Take over. I'll take care of them. One more shot. Uh, this is the one I need to learn, right? Accepted. No time to celebrate. He's a dog. We don't really. He's not. He's a dog lab rat cat thing. He's not really. He's like a. He's like a Snoopy. Well, not. Snoopy, not a, he's like a Gil Goofy, where he looks like a dog and also any other number of animals. You're gonna. You're gonna put this song in the Smexy playlist tonight. Was is this going? Is this song gonna be used for your stroke game? I don't know. It's got some weird moments to it that I don't think you can stroke to. It's about like this part. I think it was 100 bits, by the way. You know, I think I see the problem how this thing was able to run away. They don't actually close their gates. They just had their pin wide open. Anything, any one of these birds could run away. Yeah, gates all wide open. Yeah, this is the song that Goofy puts on when he's, like, doing it. Careful, Aerith. Chocobos are meat eaters. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Not to ride. Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's had his fill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him nice. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that. So why don't you wait outside? Pico doesn't much like eating when strangers are nearby. Remind me again, isn't Pico the name of like an illness? Or is that Pico? No, it's Pika. I don't want to walk out this door, chat. It's making me. Oh. Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? Ugh. Oh. Nope. Nope. Really? Not at all? It seems I didn't make as strong an impression as I thought. Silly me. Well, allow me to refresh your memory. My name's Chadley. I was the one researching Materia in Midgar. We first met in the Sector 7 Undercity where I asked you to provide me with battle intel. Though brief, we had multiple interactions, through which we got to know each other. I think I figured out How why I that? dislike him. He's basically Bring wearing a perhaps? Google Glass. Yeah. No one wants to see someone Great. wearing a Google Glass. What a relief. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? He can read your mind. <laughs> was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. Just so but out of place, Chad. Question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which... He's like a Pokemon a character that you would meet and, like, trouble. challenge you to battle with all of his, his like, scientific battle. electric Pokemon. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, 
Though, I'd like you to activate some remnant wave towers first. They were and he wants us to activate map towers. Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched. Just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. Apparently, you know this is an outdated video and game design, right? Activated. As the tower's close by, allow me to accompany you. Hmm. Hello, Cloud. I've recently been playing Assassin's Creed games. They have a wonderful mechanic where you go to, like, map towers. <laughs> the towers? Yeah, you know, the, the towers are back. This is something we kind of, like, stopped doing for a while. <laughs> is it? Is it really? It's more like your Western open world games. I thank you for the 100 bit. Chandley is one of the most immersion breaking characters in any game. He is a little, yeah. I, I said from the beginning, like, he he's really sticks out. <laughs> He feels like something Nomura insisted on. Like, no, this is like one of the greatest characters we've ever made. I thought they took this from Breath of the Wild. No, Breath of the Wild took it from, you know, Western games too. Here we are. Just use my connection gun. Wasn't this a cutscene in Final Fantasy VIII? <laughs> yeah, where you gotta go to the you know, town and like activate the radio dish. Tower activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the location. Then he had the same reaction. And and I'm resources. not surprised. Side activities detected. <laughs> After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Chadley will employ the data you collect to develop new materia new combat simulations and embark on other scientific endeavors. Activate the Rimna wave towers you encounter and help Chile deepen your understanding of this world. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? You felt a deep sense of dread? Uh, so far the world doesn't feel too exhaustingly big. These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which, in turn, reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long-forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution, though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have 5G any 5G towers never existed in the OG the like? FF7. <laughs> There's a lot of things that didn't exist in it. The combat simulator. With a special pair of goggles, you can do Didn't really need it back then. You said the world map, you know. Regardless of your real world location, that's the combat simulator, or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to Where's implement skip cutscene. I'm summons. not allowed to do that. I need I every single bit of material I'm recording. And legends surrounding them, of course. <laughs> In fact, after pouring over stories from the grasslands. I have finished implementing a new one. 
the tower in Colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Which particular task would you like to learn about? Oh. These are the things that they did over and over again, huh? Also, base club, $10 super chat. Gonna throw you 10 since I got paid today. Keep up the good work. Hey, well, thank you for your super chat. Much appreciated. And good on you getting paid. Getting those, you know, getting that milk. I tried to, like, make that a thing last night, and I'm still gonna try. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. This robot boy, Kate Sith, doesn't need to be a spy. It also makes it weird why he would choose, like, a furry cat thing. It's like, why would he choose, like, the, the furry cat thing to be a then when he can have, like, a robot boy? I might have to mention that in the video. While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Hmm... In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stack, He really is a Pokemon trainer. He's always making you get summon material. I can use it to enhance Maybe to eventually having thousands of viewers here on YouTube, I don't know if that'll ever happen. I'm usually not that kind of fortunate. I mean, if it didn't happen on Twitch, I'm not sure why it would happen here. But you know what, you never know, there's more room for growth here since I already have a built-in audience, so maybe as more people watch the VODs, they're like, you know what, I'm gonna give his live streams a chance. But it's also a possibility uh, like yes. doing streams on YouTube ask. could hurt me somewhat. You never some really know. Energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects. Proto relics. <laughs> a rather he is so name, full of himself. So. You didn't rate, advertise your Twitch much. I advertised it almost every time I went live streaming on it. I'd upload a, a YouTube video like, "Hey, I'm streaming on Twitch intel, tonight." Please ask away. And I would, you know, so there was that. You but you know, YouTube, I guess, doesn't really put those like. videos forward very much. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation you have literally tower, over 300k subs here on YouTube. That doesn't mean they're interested in watching live data. streams, though. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Hmm. Fire and ice material. As you use fire... Okay, I like that idea. Combines them into one. Auto cast materia can be pretty good on a healer. Morph. Allows you to turn enemies into items with morph. That one is like, no thank you. Because that's going to have like a high failure rate. <laughs> Auto unique ability. Allows an ally to automatically use unique abilities when not actively controlled. Tifa will use unbridled strength when not actively controlled if this materia has been equipped. How does streaming on YouTube feel compared to Twitch? Not too different. Uh, I like that it has a bunch of options before you start a, twi a stream up, unlike Twitch does, where you like build your stream by adding details to it, and then you get to preview it before you go live. Those are nice features, and you also got to like get a schedule ahead of time so people can like know when it's going to happen and be waiting for it. More from the original one, you get you can only get that one in the game, and you get rid of it if you can't get it back. I don't think I ever used it. Uh, poor Lucky, what is it? This is what it felt like to be on hold for an hour and a half, talking to Chanley. I'm thinking either this one or this one. Uh, he's only he only has one Fire and Ice, actually. I think I'm not going to get the Fire and Ice. Maybe get Autocast next time. Wait, do I have any more data points? I don't think I do, do I? No, I can get one more. Actually, I can get autocast. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, that is barely advertising. I saw alone. these notifications for years, and it wasn't until you were streaming Far Cry Primal that I said fuck it and joined a stream. 
Guts to be active and aggressive. I mean, like I said, I can't be more aggressive than actually streaming on YouTube, so. Uh, I did notice that the VOD of last night's stream, I think it has like over 3,000 views on it, so that's a lot of people who like have watched the VOD since the stream ended. Uh, so my hope is maybe people who watch the VODs here on the channel will be enticed to then like watch the live streams. That's my best hope, I guess. Talking to Chandler. Assessing and defeating new fiends will provide Chandler with the data he needs. Update the simulator with combat challenges. With these challenges, earn a variety of rewards. Now, Cat Chad, do you want to do some side quests? New summon entity is available now. Alright, we're going to get Titan first and foremost. I watched the VOD because I was at work last night. Well, I appreciate it. Oops. That being said, I will have to, like, delete some sections of it because they got copyright claimed for music, obviously. So, I think I... So, there's some sec... One section is already being, like, deleted by YouTube, and I got another one I gotta delete. It's like a two-minute section. That'll be probably pretty common for, like, the VODs. 100 bits, Dart about to get his pockets ran by Typhoon. Well, we'll see. Oh yeah, I need to like equip the new material I just picked up. So we got what on cloud? We have fire. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. I haven't really leveled this one up too much, so maybe I'll put the fire and ice on someone else. Yeah, red thirteen needs it. Wow, what, what a, a mansion. mansion. Autocast. And Aerith, what do we got for you? Use Prey, use Cure, use Arrow. Actually, I got no room for her, you know. All right, let, let us fight the Titan. I don't see the logic in extracting soundtracks from streams. Uh, well... It's just that it's just the the copyright detection is detecting the music from the game. It's like, oh, you you played something that is owned by it or whatever. All right. Cloud. I'm taking probably the worst team up against Titan. Titan. The mythical colossus of the grasslands in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. on these here VR goggles, my Apple Pro. And what do you get from each of these? You get healing materia, rewards, okay. Enemy skill materia, enemy skill, okay. They do let you get like a bunch of like free materia doing this. Uh, emerge victorious against these mighty entities in the combat simulator to be rewarded with their summoning materia. If an entity has proven too difficult, you can gain an advantage in the battle by analyzing its corresponding summon crystals found around the world. Okay, that's interesting. There's a battles for one to three people. Alright, we'll add Aerith. Right, okay, whatever. Weird. And... You know, let's go with the OG team. Also, Joel Ortez, thank you for the yo know, the membership, dude. I'm about to die very soon. Damn it. Yeah, I, 
I think the idea is you need to use crystals to make it weaker by finding them out on the map. Fucking eat it. Okay, Tifa does not do much damage to it. Yeah, I'm barely touching this thing. Yeah, yeah, okay, I see how it goes. They've made them a lot tougher in this game. Alright, I get you. I know I did. I see how it goes. I might want to do this just to get the enemy skill material. I don't want to do all these, but I want at least that. I want that stuff. It can be pretty good. You want to get it early because you'll run into stuff. Dead already? Jesus Christ, Cloud. Give us let us have a piece. That it? Menu of fights reminds me of the casino battles from the game. Enchanted arms. Hmm. Alright, uh, access enemies across various regions to unlock special events. So we got the Sonic Boom move. Sonic Boom! That was a seven second fight. Uh, healing materia? Yeah, we'll get a free healing materia. So we don't have to buy anything for a while. We, I, I think I might use enemy skill on... I usually use it on Tifa or Barret. to write a novel that's a ripoff of Bonnegut and Faulkner and what the why hmm we got more to do take the lead I'll show you what I can do fight the bugs also thank you for the sub lazy much appreciated. We all know that the real main character of the game is that first soldier you fight in FF12's first battle? FF12? This is random. Also, I just realized, you know, YouTube keeps defaulting to top chat when I want it to be live chat. Go on. Keep it together. Here goes. Let's get serious. No, see. Enjoy the 
<laughs> oh, the menu of fights from Vanai. Okay, well, you think that one of Shinra's troops who got swept down the river in that flashback sequence will have future story significance? I think he's just dead. I don't think he's gonna be coming back. What would he even do? Deal with that. I'll take care of them. This one's for you. I think I might have mastered Arcane War already. Why don't you need on you? Watch this. Yeah, that move is just too fucking good. Given this game's references to Crisis, the crazy thing would be him getting used in some equipment or whatever. Maybe he has like a side mission at some point. You're like, hey, you remember me? I was there at Nibelheim. He like took that opportunity to leave the force. Deal with that. Here goes. Okay, Red 13 is pretty good. Now that I've got a better uh, feeling for him. Still haven't made good use of his Punisher mode since I'm not blocking enough. Was that the one that recognized Cloud in the first game? No, that was a different guy. Uh, healing materia. On the other streams, most people set the combo to free and static. Apparently you can set higher combos on other enemies. Uh, what do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Set it to free and static? So you can get a lot of like free materia, but I've already got a lot of these, so I don't really want to do these right now. I might do these. Steadfast block is pretty good though. Uh, so that might actually be very good for Red 13. A series of three person battles for Cloud Bear and Tifa. Participate in training. Uh, you do not need to have unlocked these commands to participate. Uh, maybe not tonight though. I gather from your expression that you're eager for more. Yeah, that's enough. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries. We need to go do some travels. side quests now, because we unlocked a lot of shit on the map. Also, is my chocobo ready? All my characters got their like little emoji of their, their face, so I thought maybe I would have like a response for each of them. Nope, doesn't seem that way. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. Pressing R1 to use your choco whistle and summon your bird to your side while out exploring the world. Note that you can only call a chocobo in a region once you have wrangled that region's bird. Interesting. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? 
I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. You think Chadley hitchhikes everywhere and just meets interesting and strange truckers? I, I feel like he's going to be susceptible to that. Like, where are you going, kid? Who would want to drive with him in a car? The strange truckers. where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race? Isn't that held on a different continent, though? That seems awfully expensive to, like, get involved with. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Bird. Scent. Speak to Billy while you're a choker. Your cover doesn't sense anything nearby. Scour. Oh yeah, that's right. They added like the you know the digging mini game from FF9 into the game, didn't they? Okay. But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Use the training grounds on Billy's ranch to get the hang of Choco back riding. Each pass each of the goalposts in order and complete the course as quickly as you can. Would you ride a giant chicken? Yes, I would also eat it. Oh, fuck you up. Butt rock. thousand dollars to go to a Vegas bowling tournament when they normally only pay at a, a rural butt fuck nowhere. Are they traveling to yeah, but that, yeah, but I mean, you gotta transport birds all the way across the continent. That's a bit more expensive than going to compete at a bowling tournament. Is that yeah, it, imagine trying to transport horses across the you know, the Atlantic Ocean? That's what they're essentially doing. That's gonna be a bit more pricey. You think you could ride this choke? Well, you're mentioning one of my favorite FF's, you know, Final Fantasy songs, you know. Same guy also did the, you know, the Happy Turtle Rock song in Intergrade. We can't thank you enough, Billy. Oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Oh. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever the side reason. missions can be good. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since mom left. Some people do that for Kentucky. Together. Yes, rich people. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. I five him, Aerith. You know that's what it'll get him into it. People the world over are willing to pay top gill for Cloud's head. Hard hand for higher services. Track these odd jobs, open the map with that, and select quests. Certain settlements will have a notice board upon. Oh, it is of the Witcher. 
on which citizens need help. Chad, does your local town have a notice board where you can just put up flyers? Like, I need you to go kill a bunch of animals out in the forest. I'm going to, like, petition my local town council for a, you know, a board that we can just put weird shit on. Tackle the all jobs listed there to earn rare rewards. Deepen your bonds with your allies and increase your party level. You, it, it would help out with the economy, you know? You can warp to any unlocked waypoint such as towns, repaired chocobo stops, and activated Rimnaway towers. Press to open the map and select locations and instantly travel to it. Note that you can only fast travel to chocobo stops once you have wrangled the region's chocobo. Right, he said his sister had a problem, right? You looking to practice? No. I'm gonna go talk to your sister. Texas has that feral pig situation. Here, pig hog, I guess. If we have plenty of gill, I worked in a Pokemon mystery. <laughs> All right, what does your sister need? Chocobo. Oh, that's right, you can customize them. In our town bulletin board, we ask people for basic healthcare supplies, so that's not quite the same as, like, I need someone to go kill a bunch of, like, coyotes. Oh, hey! You're back! I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy Squeeze my hog, squeeze my hog. hog. <laughs> I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? Tell me how your parents died. <laughs> when I was really little. Billy we'll live your trauma. Like to talk about it. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. I'd wear mine for days. I would, but it's a gift. She's had to work you so can play tic-tac-toe on her forehead. Jesus, I man. To do something nice for him. You can do that on most anime characters, if you haven't noticed. I promise you we'll keep it a surprise. Very noticeable character trait most anime characters will, you know. They'll, they'll have, you know, big foreheads. You this, but he's the Helps the eyes look, you know, you know, well, That's what Billy says. anime. I don't know. He always changes the subject when I ask. Hmm. I'll take it. I mean, the game you literally know? gives you no option the to say no. The flowers on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Fuck Thank them kids. So no, this is a paying work. We need money. <laughs> Though I would like, at some point tonight, I do want to like maybe get across the swamp. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Your fingies hurt. What are you doing with them? So, yeah, well, he only gave us one chocobo, right? Red 13 looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> And he has to be careful with that tail, too. Oh, Aerith said side saddle, I see. Hoot, hoot, what? Ow, follow it. It's like the foxes from, you know, that one game. It, it's an owl, but it looks like it's a, you know, a parrot, though. Parrot of interest discovered. Look at that. 
that? Oh no, <laughs> he's got our number. Life spring. Why don't you try scanning it? See what you uncover. Accessing the planet's figure. Oh god, he's, he's like a Starfield cutscene in that thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, surviving, surveying life spring grants the wisdom of the life stream, revealing new points of interest. Following a spring seeker owl will help lead you to a life spring, its natural habitat. Could that be a life stream? How do I do that then? Oh, that's how. Can we get the flowers here too for this girl? Because this feels like a lot. How do I scan again? Oh, that's hell. Surveying life springs allows you to decipher the knowledge of the life stream, revealing regional intel. Press to and then select Chadley Region Intel to learn about the history and ecology of the area. <laughs> you have darting it on your Google Nest speaker. Got love to kind of love technology. Data received. Life springs such as this can be discovered in every region. Their potential energy output is far too minuscule for Shinra to exploit. But to us, their fonts of intel. I encourage you to seek out more of these life springs. I encourage you to do all the side activities. We've you know just, we copy pasted a little bit for you. All right, grasslands. This humble town serves as the transport hub for the grasslands. Hence the distinctive Bailey built for the monitoring of commercial and private traffic. Uh, during the War of the Republic of Junon, Shinra saw fit to occupy Calm due to its stout fortifications or strategic value, and has remained under company control ever since. As it lacks a reactor of its own, Calm is relying on Midgar and its pipelines for a steady supply of Mako, which is stored in a large tank for regular use. This arrangement allows the residents to enjoy both modern conveniences and a, hev hev hel and a healthy environment, a combination that has attracted many new residents of late. Ten years ago, a significant portion of the town was damaged through Shinra quickly intervened and carried out a comprehensive reconstruction effort. Details regarding the incident and the extent of the destruction are sparse. Wasn't that from like one of the old mobile games that that damage calm? Is that reference to that? <coughs> Meanwhile, Hojo, I can't wait till we get to like Costa de Sol and you'll see Hojo. <laughs> Just in his like this, you'll this speedo. That's gonna love it. All right, what do we got? We have. That thing, then we have this here thing, phenomenal intel, and then we have some stuff down here. Moogle intel. And we have another tower over here, right? Yeah. And he mentioned going back to Calm, even. Tifa in a bikini. Look, I'm more interested in Hojo. You can, like, you know, goon over Tifa all you like. I have better and stronger interests, all right? The more comedic interest. Chat, Tifa means nothing to me. Nothing. Can you jump off this with a chocobo? Nope. Okay, they didn't really tell me what I could smell with the chocobo. So far, nothing. When did gooning become a thing? It's become like a popular word for 2024, it seems. I don't know who made it popular, but it seems like we get a new word every couple months now. Hmm. 
Uh, these tough little chicks will lead you to chocobo shop. What? Oh, there's a fat little baby chocobo. With an acorn on its butt. We can't pet the dog, we can pet the baby chocobo. Hey you guys, what's up Tober? How you doing? One more. A dog tells a woo woo. Alright, you stay there and mind the bench. Christ God, oh, you just became a believer because of cuteness, huh? Too cute. No. <laughs> Ducktails. Oh, woo. Hey, it's the original Uwu. Baby Chocobo, deep voice. Why you petting me, bro? Ugh, <laughs> oh, touch me hard. Oldest urban dictionary definition of gooning is 2006, so it's been right yet, but it, you know, sometimes it takes a while for a word to become popular. Can I see like a church over here? Oh, I, oh, I pass it. Okay, it's up that way. Excuse me, monsters. Would you like to battle? We won't hold back. Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. Jump and glide like 15. Uh, you mean with a chocobo? I think later chocobos can, because you saw in the trailers, but we're not right now. All right, that looks that's the point of interest if I ever saw one. Mike, have a good night, man. Thanks for being here, showing support and love and compassion and humanity and many other feelings, but mostly Kwe, Mu, and Wark, which are also on the emotional spectrum of someone. Namely you. How's the open world? So far, it doesn't feel overwhelming. And they do give you the chocobo to get around it quicker. So I think I'm going to be cool with it. It doesn't feel like too much of a barrier is being put in your way. Darling, Raven, how you been? It feels like it's been forever. Welcome to my YouTube streams. They leave the wark in the remake. It just goes, yo, cute sound now. You're thinking of like the text based, like, yo, sound effect they'd have in the old games. Uh, what are you gonna do when Eris. You don't know that's even happening in this one. It has, and hope I'm well. I'm great, actually. Been a good time. Growing as a human, learning all sorts of new things. Got a pay upcoming Patreon and everything. Big gear for me, honestly. Or at least I hope it's a big gear for me. Chad, do you think it'll be a big gear? Big. 
All right. Uh, obviously inside this place. So let's get in there. We'll be impressed if they did that. <clears throat> Big load of a you. I I see what you did there. Not that it was hard to miss. Where are you reviewing? When am I reviewing Azura's Wrath? I actually own that game. I've owned it for a couple of years now, but I've never bothered playing it yet. Uh, maybe at some point. I don't want to like promise something and then not deliver. Okay, I'm feeling we need to get a key because there's been a lot of locked doors we can't just get through. <laughs> like this one. Glad to hear I saw you in my feed and I wanted to stop by and say, hey, well, I'm glad you decided to. Yeah, I guess we just can't get in there right now. Unless there's something I'm missing. Cut the gate, I tried. You know, a chain, your cloud just can't get through it. <laughs> just can't. Maybe we can jump over it. Gaming sins of this game, that is a video I'll be looking forward to. Yeah, it's going to be a big one, though. What's the thing on the net? The thing on the net. Yeah, I like how they have barbed wire on just one section and no other section. This is the weak point. Maybe try using the chocobo search thing. Uh doesn't sense anything nearby. Does sword size matter? No, but yo, Cloud's gone with both length and girth, so he's trying to cover all of his bases. Hold on a second. That's how you get in. I think I know who this is. What are we appreciating? Fuck yeah. Yeah. What? 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 I love that song. They've even made it into dubstep. I just want to leave the music playing, honestly. Do they look like they're actually hunting for treasure or just like praising the clouds? Oh, let's save real quick. Oh, let me. This is some goon music. You're right, this is goon music. Several things are pulsing. Red 13 looks awkward in every cutscene like this. Isn't that? 
big enough for us. We're you thought FF16 was the one with all the cussing? Well, this one now, too. We've gone legit. The music We're is banging. The sax, now. yeah. They had a great soundtrack yes, in the first game. This one's so far equally as well. But these guys specifically had, like, a really good tune. Why are you here now? Because I wanted to, like, I can stream on both Twitch and YouTube simultaneously now, so why not? Figured I'd give it a shot. I'm gonna appreciate the hell out of you. These guys remind me of God Hand enemies. You really think that's enough to intimidate the likes of? No, please, it's all yours. Just don't hurt us again. I don't get that guy's physique. He's like muscular fat. Listen here, nuts. I got a foolproof plan. Give me a poster about the Patreon. It's going to be happening sometime this month, actually. It's going to be cheap, too. Just three bucks. Oh, we don't get to fight him? Oh. Hold on. Oh, they got they got freaking lyrics. It's on you. Why can't, you know, you know, Red 13 is supposed to be a block to make his vengeance mode work, right? But how come I can't block with him? Like, R1 is block, right? That's what it is with Cloud. I know, Red 13 is weird because he doesn't have synergy like Bard yet either. This song sounds like it comes out of Jet Set Radio. Oh, it's over there. Okay, you gotta like... Hold on, okay. These guys have experienced a lot of trauma today. I'm beginning to notice a trend that firemen poles are their way of like getting you out of areas once you've been through them. Face down, ass up. I feel like there's a second part to that, right? right. 
Yeah, I still haven't got the hang of Red 13 because I you're supposed to block to make his vengeance mode work, but I can't get block to happen, and he also doesn't build up synergy for some reason. I think there might be a reason he doesn't build up synergy because they're saving it to once you get to Cosmo Canyon in his big moment or something. Alright, where are we headed? Okay, we got a fight we can do there. And apparently I ran right past it, didn't even realize it. And then the next part of that quest we just we're on was over there. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot of sh yo world shit chat. Sorry. Hello, what's up, Thunder st Thunderstruck? How you doing, man? Uh did you equip something to red that could be preventing those two things? You're right, let me check. I don't think I did. I don't think there's anything like that. Yeah, you just got a mithril collar and a level leather bangle one. Check his folio. Oh, can I actually do that right now? The, where's the nut? They load card decks, inventory spells? No. I think you have to go to the machine to check the folio, all right? Yeah, he d he just doesn't build up the you know those little tick marks that show your sh your synergy. He just doesn't have them for some reason. And I for some reason I can't block with him to build up his like vengeance stuff. Like I hit R one, but he's not blocking like say Clown does or any other characters do. on the bird you have to unlock with him unlock what does that mean unlock you have to unlock his block move I'm not sure how you do that, unless you gotta use like special material that you do like the blogging, which no one else seems to need. Oh, you have to unlock his block. Okay, okay, all right, thank you. That explains it then. Team Skull vibes, you mean those guys are just like I said, there is definitely some Pokemon in here. Chadley fits Pokemon pretty well, too. Gotta hit the beach. Anything? There's definitely something you do here because there's these balls and it's a big area. Probably a quest you gotta activate somewhere else. Wait, can this chocobo swim out there? Oh yeah, yeah, there's a material over here as well. Treasure Island chat. Into orb of precision defense focus material. Okay, that might actually be really good on Red 13. Oh, yeah, I need to put enemy skill. Precision, extend input timing window for precision defense. Actually, that's for like, oh, okay, I see what you mean. That gives you more frames for like doing that. Actually that'll probably be best on Cloud. Uh actually I'm just gonna put enemy skill material on Red 13 for the time being. You never saw that? What, this little island?
My printer just notified me I was out of ink. The message never run out of ink again, I'm afraid. <laughs> Printers are scary technology since they're basically a ripoff these days. But I like the implicit threat it kind of offered you. Boy, you got a nice printer here, bub. Be a shame if something happened to it. But printers are just, yeah, there's like, there, uh, there's a reason I don't own one. I don't really need to print anything. And I don't like the idea of like, well, their business model. I need to print something, I'll go to the local library. I have to deal with parking spot protection. I don't want to have to deal with printer extorting money. Well, you're already being extorted because that's what printer businesses do. You care while you're on the chocobo? You can. Is the printer making you say this stuff right now, Jim? So, uh, is he enjoying the game? Yes. You can ask me directly, too, by the way. I respond to chat. I read you guys. I'm not like other streamers. So, don't be afraid to put that at Dartigan in your front, in your, in your comment. Alert! Alert! Dangerous being detected in your vicinity. Please ensure you are prepared Who is this? Changing. New phone. Who dis? <laughs> My sensors are oh, God. There's a female one. Oh, wait. That might be better. It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful... Or wait, is this Chadley just with a wig on? Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed oh, analysis this is getting of weird. the you encounter. I hope I can be of service to you in the many Chadley created ahead. himself a girlfriend. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. To procure the biological data that we require, you'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry. Because I'll be here to help you succeed. You thought Chadley was out of place? <laughs> yeah, this is even... He created her. Didn't know if you were able to read the YouTube chat or only Twitch. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading both, so I'm giving myself a bit of a handicap. But hey, yeah. Have fun with it. You know, talk to me. Talk to other people. Talk to your god. Whatever you need. Friend, the fiends that Chadley wishes to analyze can be found in various locations throughout the world. Defeating these unique beasts... Playing certain battle objectives will unlock new trials in the combat simulator. You cannot flee from these battles. I smell the fiends. Rare Toxarath variant identified. No. Commencing guidance protocol. The pungent odor that these fiends release when threatened is so effective at driving away predators that their population has exploded. This Did I just start? How do I like it so far? I started a couple out yesterday, actually, but so far I'm enjoying it. Right now I'm killing rats. rats. Such tactics allow them to hunt creatures as large as alphadocs. Imagine something like that creeping into every corner it can find, and you'll understand why they're considered such a menace. With any luck, the data we collect here will aid us in finding a way to reduce their numbers. All right, pressure an enemy, stagger an enemy, avoid being poisoned. Death to rats. Spread the plague. <laughs> Okay, but I, I was not expecting a female Chadley. They doubled down on Chadley chat. They were like, you know what? We love this guy. Let's give him like a female version that he made. Sadly. Okay, these things die too quick for me to snagger them. Maybe I gotta like assess it and use its weakness on it. Allow me. Uh they're weak to ice. They don't have Do you have ice on you? Yeah, you got ice. Oh, no. Let's keep it up. No, 
Well, we only got one of those three objectives. Can I do it again? Retry. Shit, yeah, let's retry that one. Love how one of Dart's tags is Toxic Streamer. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit of a lie. I'm actually not toxic at all. I'm pretty positive. You're fascinated? I'm fascinated. Fascinating, Doctor. Sonic Boop! There we go. I know a group of YouTubers who adopt the name The Toxic Brood. Are they actually toxic though? Well, I want a retry game. I did it perfectly. Okay, we're getting that intel data. We're going to be buying a ton of materia from Chadley's Black Market. But we got more to do. Just get the cat to get it. Those, those are rat I'm pretty sure the cats in this game would stand no chance against monster rats, man. Hey, God. I like that someone is actually trying to contact God in my chat after I mentioned it. <laughs> but which God? You know what, chat? I desire more combat. More blood for my blade. And I remember there being some blue elephants up here. Yeah. They shall die by my hand. Uh... Oh yeah, didn't I get- I need to like switch rods on Aerith too. I did learn that ability. I'm gonna switch out him now since he has that ability to someone else. Tifa, maybe? Did she have uh, anything that she needed to learn, though? Yeah, she needs to do dive kick. More blood for the blood god is from a game. Not sure which one. That is from Warhammer, one of the Warhammer RTS games. Blood for the blood god. Skulls for the skull throne. the first Space Marine game is still this I, you know I've wanted to play that for a while but it won't work on my computer uh, David Lopez he does Darty is not at that point oh I don't know, I gotta be careful I shouldn't read whatever that David Lopez guy said it might be a spoiler uh but oh you're asking about Vin yeah Vincent is in the game but he's not playable they revealed that early back in one of the trailers he is he does I think he's like sort of acts like Red 13 did at the end of remake where he'll fight with you but you don't control him
if his red shoes are rather tacky. <laughs> wow, dude. You know what? I like her, but she just can't fucking dress herself. <laughs> Is there any other fashion you know, faux pas you want to like mention here on this team? All right, where are we going? Okay, these I still can't get into. We have a, oh, another fucking tower. Let's get over there. Let's get that tower. When do we see swimsuits? That's not till Costa de Sol. That is a way away. You gotta work for the swimsuits, man. They think they're just gonna give you those. We gotta get all the way through, you know, like, this area. We gotta get through Junon. And then, you know, the journey across the sea. And then you get to Costa de Sol. You know that Minesweeper is only on PC? Did you know that no one actually likes Minesweeper? True. I know big, you know, big things, but no one does. Oh yeah, I forgot to put this thing up last time. I'm your favorite voice actor, but I, I don't have any roles. I've never played a character before, other than myself. Uh, how many, like, cushions do I have? Yeah, we can send to use one. YouTube chat is the inferior community. Segregation now, segregation tomorrow, segregation forever. Oh, uh, did you hear that YouTube chat? Someone in my Twitch chat is trying to start shit with you. What do you want to do about it? If anything. You've played the entire cast of Legend of Dragoon that I have. Played the entire game, in fact. Dive kick misses more than it hits. Moving on then. Come here and tell that to Dart to Dart against face. Uh, I am, uh, I'd tell them that the quoting George Wallace is never a good idea. He's got a good point, Twitch chat. Quoting George Wallace is not for a joke. Even I wouldn't go so low. Twitch chat is in fear. We have 69 viewers. I mean, you had more earlier tonight, actually, too. Birch. So would you date Aerith Teeth for a Jesse? I, I'm going with Cloud's mom still. All these other women are inferior. It activated, it found me one thing. Numbers will be kind of low since everyone's playing it. True, there's a lot of people avoiding spoilers right now. It's usually when I play a game people don't care about that the numbers get boosted. I mean, you see my Suicide Squad numbers? Holy shit. Is YouTube chat trying to create an apartheid like a Dutch colony? No, actually that started with a Twitch chat. Map expand. Okay, we got another fight and we got another Mako crystal pool. Yeah, sure. I, 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 I thirst for combat. I thirst for the blood of thirst. If you had to pick from those three, which would it be? What, what, what does this actually say about me? What do you want to know?
Have you ever streamed Armored Core? I actually did stream the most recent Armored Core. I ended up not finishing it, though, because I wasn't enjoying it, if I'm being perfectly honest. I, I didn't really get into it. I'm not really that big into giant robots. We're in monster territory now. And for some reason, that game just wasn't clicking with me. Beat all enemies in the time limit. Prevent enemies from using quick nap. Dagger and enemy. She thirsts for blood more than me. So that killed them, Cloud. Killed them for science. Alright, uh. I don't know what their weakness is. They're weak to fire. Split them on weakness will pressure it. Summon right now? Bridges choke a boy removal. No gotcha. <laughs> and bloodthirsty, you're only lining. You know what? She's so far beating out Chadley. You're right. Suicide Squad Suicide Squad, a game so bad that ruins YouTube views. Oh no, that 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 game that video did really well, and I, my stream numbers for it were also very very good. People just wanted to see how much they they should hate it. All right, uh, let's go to the Mako well. Apparently, that game is very likely to even last the year. It's done so poorly. That it wouldn't be surprising to anyone at this point that uh, that if uh, Warner Brothers cancels it and doesn't try to finish all the you know, seasonal content they originally planned. Bird is just going nuts. Excavation site. Isn't that near me? Oh, it's down that way. I guess that's what we'll use the, the bird to dig with. Uh, as Batman and Mark Hamill as a Joker. Mm. Ironically, it's always the worst games that get the most views since people would much rather watch something else suffer through. I mean, that is true. There is a lot of truth to that. Can't deny it. Usually when I've watched streams, it's always been in games I have no intention of playing. And just want to see what y'all what's up and up about it. Uh chuckable into all rounders of the grasslands. Okay, I've already done that one. Okay. 
Alright, I guess we can go dig up this chocobo stuff. And we're also near... Like, we have that. Where was that girl wanting me to get the flowers at? Oh, that's all the way down here. Or no, that's the that's the swamp I need to get through. I like the gentle, like, Eris theme in the background. Why is he just schlupping around tired? No, I wanted I wanted to see what the side content's gonna be like. I have to know, you know. You have to at least you know take a taste of it. To see if you enjoy the side content whatsoever. Plus, I probably need to level up. Need a little bit of leveling up. But I like your terminology, schlupping around. Is he just schlupping around? That's the planet's theme. Uh, I think there's like a mix of both Eret's theme and the planet's theme together, right? But you might be right. It is the planet. Okay, I admit that I'm wrong then. I can't tell like tunes apart. Uh, when that kind of appears above your chocobo, buried treasure is nearby and waiting to be sniffed out by your feathered friend. Sniff the air. It's behind me somewhere. Oh, there we go. I didn't know birds were so good at, like, sniffing like a dog. Wabbits. Obtained an emerald. This has, uh, this has to be inspired by FF9 Choco. Oh, it definitely is, yeah. Yeah, that's actually not the treasure we came looking for. It's just a you know, random one on the way. Uh, what powers do you think the variant chocobos will be given to this? I mean, they're probably the same. We've already seen a few in the video. I mean, the trailers. You have the ones that can glide. Ones that can uh, uh, basically climb up mountains or certain walls. Weirdly enough, they all seem to be able to swim now. And that used to be like the domain of like the blue chocobo. And I'm assuming in the third game, the gold chocobo can do all together. So you don't have to like have a specific one. Oh, nice, nice tune, by the way. Uh, at excavation point, your chocobo can sniff out buried transmuter chips. Hold to sniff the air used to face the scent. Once you face the direction, okay, I've already learned that. Sniff a bird. That's quite the transmuter chip you found. In fact, it was once used in the construction of windmills. Given its rarity, I would not be surprised if someone had need of such technology. Yeah, just keep playing the music. Oh, we got more artifacts to find. Excavation points are jumping against snow. Okay, I know, but is there not more nearby? Because there's two more. Uh, Dargan's voice is so refreshing. Well, thank you. in a wall? Oh no. It just stops at the wall. I 
do you like this music? Like some something out here in Sonic. Mm, I always associate Sonic with butt rock. Transmitter chip cushion. Oh, we can make those now. Good. All right, what's next? Technically, I'm at the level to cross. It recommends across the, the swamplands, but you don't actually start out level one in this game. Uh, I guess we will. I said we can travel back to Calm now, so I guess we'll check that out. But you couldn't really do anything there before? No Koroks are just Korok Tarts. Well, that's the gold Korok, right? Or, yeah, well, the, the gift you get from getting all of them. Which I, 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 do, I do appreciate that they, they have that level of humor. Like, you know what? You did what had to be the hardest quest in the game. Have some shit. Music is definitely a vibe. I actually own the vinyl for the first game soundtrack. This road's seen better days. Much of the Republic's infrastructure has fallen into disrepair after years of neglect. And you know damn well Shinra ain't about to spend a single gill on shit they don't use. Is it true the Republic used to run buses between towns? Yes, though that service ended when the war did. In other words, we gotta hoof it, cause Shinra's run by tightwads. Well, I don't mind. It's kind of fun exploring the great outdoors. You do you. Well, they do call them the power company, not the uh, transportation company. <laughs> More treasure. Can you get back into Midgar? I don't believe you can. You don't go back to Midgar until the third game, when there's like a big reason you go back. However, Zack is in Midgar, I believe, so you might be going back there as him in his, like, little world. Play Arts Rest Spot. What? Oh, that's, like, probably a card. You like Air, this voice actor? She has a YouTube channel where she, like, does a lot of streaming on. Chadley is in Calm as well. Wait, isn't this music Zach's? Or at least, yeah, I can hear a touch of it. I mean, technically it is where he had his last stand at. Makes sense. Taking the Hobbits to Isengard. You gotta sing that as the song, you know. This way? Uh, yeah. Let's go to this, this mission. Or did I just go the wrong way? Oh no, it's up here. Up here to be. Shipping containers to cover your approach. 
stealth mission chat. I, I'm pretty sure we can beat them up easily. I don't think we need to sneak. Take cover behind the shipping containers to reach the room undetected. Sneak past Beck's badasses to reach the warehouse. How could you ditch us like that, boss? Don't be an idiot. I had to for the treasure, obviously. You don't I scare was me. Inconsolable. I think I've just been spotted. Inconsolable? What's that? Oh, it's like when you're. Was that my plan? What? Uh, that is an inappropriate camera angle. That was straight up Tifa's rump. She's wearing shorts, you realize. Even if I tilted the camera all the way up, you wouldn't see anything. Okay, show me the meat till that mark gives up. Hey, boss. Can we eat yet? I'm hungry. Ain't ready yet, dingus. Was that my plan? No. I was just looking up at the damn thing in front of me. That was an upper angle. Oh no, you're in a stealth section? Well, I was in one earlier, only it was a chocobos, and I'm pretty sure this plays out exactly the same. Well, the problem is, can't really sneak over from this side. Have we seen that one soldier guy at all? The new one who rode the motorcycle? Uh, no, not yet. I'm, I'm, we know he's in here though. There was a trailer I showed him off. Why does that guy have Popeye arms? These guys are all meant to be like... You know what? Crime makes you ugly. I can maybe roll past this guy. Or not. Hurry and protect the meat! Shit! It's them! Run for it! Run for me! They're more perceptive than I gave them credit for, but I doubt they're gone for good. You have two options. Hide nearby and wait, or come back later. Retry. You failed? Well, hey, the stealth ain't exactly great. <sighs> Looks like the coast is clear. <laughs> and they didn't steal our meat. Huh. That's kind of weird. Do you think they weren't hungry? They're just bird Damn, brains, that smells that's good. all. Anyway, gotta leave this baby on the fire a little longer to get it nice and crispy. Hum, 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 hum. Smells like it's coming along. When can we eat? Yet. Thank you. I'm running on empty. Excellent use of the sound effects. Caught by these idiots, but I don't know why we can't just beat them up. They're not exactly a threat. How can you expect someone carrying a sword that size to be still the excellent point, but you know what? Video games cut you a break. I don't know how you're supposed to get past this guy without being spotted. Since he's always kind of looking at this spot. I got three chances now, so I guess I can just like roll past him. Good morning, Dory. What's up, my guy? How you doing? If that's not well done, I don't know what is. Presenting the finest. Well done, huh? Yeah, they're meant to be like. I honestly think we should pity these guys rather than like demean them. They're clearly just like uneducated and poor. 
not fair. Not right even. This is the lack of education at work. It's all Shinra's doing. They have good music. You know what? We can respect them for that. Yuffie would have fit in these stealth sections the most. We don't have Yuffie yet. You know, Yuffie. Uh, but y y true, she would actually. <laughs> Clearly not all stable in the brain. I think these are the kind of people that usually huff gas when they were young. Yes, play the music. So, you want this thing that bad, huh? Yes. <laughs> Way you came after us, I figured. <laughs> Which means I was right It's all glowing, on. man. How, that should be enough to tell you that it's worth a lot. So we ain't just gonna give it up, dumbass. They don't have time for this. Just the one I know, boss. Relax, boys. I got just the plan. I call it Bait the Hook. Oh, yeah, hook in the bait. So, uh, what's the bait? For all intents and purposes, it's you. Here, take this. Thanks. Can I eat it? Tuck it for the good job. It's like Team Bex Bass. Oh, wait, what? Blasting all the get, huh? that filled with steroids that's what eating well done meat will do to you really good and healthy that was so worth it. <laughs> you've been lied to by every single barbecue you've ever been to well done is where it's at If he's four, how does he have a gut? That would be the parasitic worms. <laughs> it's very bloated looking. That ain't a healthy like yeah, that ain't a healthy weight. You telling me Liver King lied to me? Yes. I'm sad to say someone who's just trying to my your your market uh what is it? Pills to you? Like take his you know, supplements and seven sacred tenets. Uh yeah, not too bright. Well, not too honest, I should say. Well done, my brother in uh, Neanderlus. That was excellent. Uh, well, thank you. Whatever that Neanderlus word means. Is this all part of the same quest? Yes, it seems to be. They gave these guys like an entire side quest. We gotta go. I'm gonna assuming the la next location is the last one. Which is where again? Bend and rep show relative. Yeah, that one. I ain't too far. We'll hit up this activation tower first. Wasn't there like a girl? Wasn't there? Where was the mission the girl wanted flowers from, by the way? I guess I don't have that on my map. But uh, we'll go there. Also, where do I drop a pin? Neanderthalus? Oh, Neanderthal. Okay. I'm still used to calling it a Neanderthal, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has, like, got off that. It's like, no, it's Neanderthal. Another one?
This game is just full of distractions, ain't it? Like, do you want to chase everything? That's how you've always said it, Neanderthal. Yeah, but it's apparently Neanderthal. Our uneducated asses have been just been saying it incorrectly. <laughs> Stark contrast to the barren Mako ravaged outskirts of Midgar, the ecosystem of the grasslands remains relatively unscathed. Streams flowing from the central mountain ranges nourish the lush meadows below, which sustain a diverse range of species. Ranchers and farmers also benefit greatly from this beautiful, bountiful environment. Vast wetlands uh, make up much of the southern region, and days past boats and chocobo carriages were a common sight, but as most goods are now transported by sea or air, traffic through the wetlands has steadily decreased. Moreover, as an immense man-eating serpent dubbed Midgar Sornomer, I can't pronounce that probably, uh, has been sighted in this area of late, few, date to br few dare to brave the old trails. Even those capable of evading the gargantuan snake may yet fall victim to one of its many inescapable quagmires. I'm wondering if the Midgar Zolum, or whatever they call it now, is still an optional fight. Titus? T Look, you don't have to say Titus' name correctly because they never say it in-game. It's just him. all he is he is a himbo actually no i never thought of it yeah he is the the he is the rpg himbo i like this this theme of tying in zach's theme with this area nice touch myth gars myth myth gars warmer myth gars somewhere You know, they say Calm is powered by Mako, but I see what looks to be coal-powered power plants over there. And you cannot have another one nearby. There's too many mithril springs. Thank you, uh, Titus. He liked that we said his name. We called him out. Titus's last name is, though. I don't know if that's ever been revealed. Titus, ah oh, ha ha ha. There you go. That's it. The cannon. Cloud, that data has revealed an intriguing sight. The nest of the Quetzal Quattle, a rare bird native to these lands. So rare, in fact, that few have ever seen it. This is a What's a Quattle? You mean the summon from us. Final Fantasy VIII? Does it still look like a like a, a slime worm? Titus Mario and this is <laughs> some ja some jokes chat are classic and never die. Titus Jack shot. Uh, actually, I think it'd be Titus Jack shot Mark Three. Jack actually like changes family name after his like you know ultimate maneuver, or maybe just Titus Blitzball. 
Maybe that one kid who said he wanted to be a Blitzball when he grows up was actually just a family member. Activate the tower. Stop having it be off. I'm probably only gonna, I'm probably for some of this optional content chat, I will do off stream. Uh, I don't wanna spend every stream like filling out a region like this. So I'll like do some of that off stream when I get to a new region and then do save the stream for like story stuff. the game has a lot of padding well any open world game is going to have that however uh, it depends on how often these activities are repeated right now they're still fresh to me the more they get repeated the less interest i'll have in them obviously also i guy damn man jesus think you were the 10 gifted uh, you, any of you got a gift sub from i guy send him your love being generous tonight. Queen's Blood is optional. Yeah, yeah and there's like a tournament you can do in the game, so there's a big quest tied to it, but you don't have to, I don't believe. Or you can lose it and not matter. Ether Onion. But tonight, I guess, the rent tonight is all about just side content, getting a feel for it. And also cute chocobo chicks. Yeah. Say so doing something more than 10 times will absolutely make it. Uh, for me, it's actually way less than that. I usually get tired of it after like maybe the third time and just start ignoring them. All right, I think the badasses are in there. You're terrible at card. I was really good at Hearthstone. I'm not gonna lie. I played. I used to play Hearthstone a lot. I got pretty damn good at it. I think I got to diamond rank or something. Uh, but then I kind of stopped because I was spending too much time on it. Watch the Emperor versus the Kitten card game match. A massive play undone by a single card. What game is it? They're playing. Like I said, the only card game I ever got into was Hearthstone. Hey, what you doing with the hideout key? <laughs> They're eating it underground so nobody can find it. You idiot! What if some one for nothing dogs break in and we get locked out? <laughs> Where did you come from? Can we just kill them? Why am I not at the Golden Saucer? That is far off in the game. You thought we were going to get there in two nights? I bet you couldn't guess who's got it, even if you tried! what I tell you? The correct answer is... Ta-da! Me, me, me! Look at these troubles. Our tactics got a totally diversion. <laughs> so, uh, what do we do now, boss? Is it obvious? Uh -huh. We make a run for it! Uh -huh. 
we only let them escape every time for some reason. Electricity sucks. I feel like like the, the lyrics here are y'all better sus in peace. Like Chadley's like admonishing me at this point. Y'all better sow some peace. Yeah, that makes more sense. Assume they cheat and you can't guess right. I actually think you probably can guess right and they get really surprised. I can't believe it. He's cheating. Use your chocobo to smell the find the hideout key. When the icon appears above you, I'll show you is detect the scent that warrants investigation. Hold the sniff here. Yeah, I get you. something outside oh wait okay they've made the chocobo sound way too cute in this game and I have a fence of that all right keep on What do you think Chadley would sound like if he actually was pissed off at you? I don't think he has ever expressed that emotion. Maybe he's not programmed for it. Okay, they're over there. He's like, Cloud, you, you, you shithead. <laughs> he would, he would make it awkward, right? He'd explode. Yeah, it'd be one of those things that destroys the, the positronic brain or whatever. Probably have a deep robotic. Yeah, that's when like the kill mode would activate. That you know Hojo program programmed it with a goddamn kill mode. All right, Hojo doesn't make anything that is an incredibly violent and dangerous. It just it hasn't yo know, been revealed yet. Still kind of creeps me out that Hojo made like a young boy android. He made the bussy boy, <laughs> the bussy android. It's like why, why Hojo? Why did you do this? Why did you specifically make a child android for yourself? You thought Hojo's obsession was breeding? Well, he wanted to breed Aerith with, you know, someone with a dog. So we know he's got, he's a freak, like a bad freak. You notice there's always rabbits by the you know the thing. Yeah, you know, animals. They're they're using a lot of animals to like pin to help you find stuff, like the owl, the chocobo chick, and rabbits mean treasure underground nearby. Or bunnies.
deal with that. Are you sure you want to know? I mean, we can have our suspicions. There's probably a reason that yo, yo, Charlie decided he wanted to get away from Hojo as well. Well, we've completed almost half of the activities in the yo, the grasslands. Late to the roll call. What's up, Borgus? How you doing tonight? Team Four Star. Yeah, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Not in a positive way, that is. Yeah, I think I need to switch Tifa off the group and replace her with Barrett to learn his move. So, up behind Calm. Now, the question is... Uh... I'm assuming you get over there by heading across these rocks, as this looks like it's probably impassable back here. You like them to make remake FF9 like they did with this game? Uh, I understand the idea of wanting FF9 to be done like this, but that'd be another like 10 year project. <laughs> I'd rather than just like remake 9 in a way that's different, so I'd like. One, keep it so you use high definition, like 2D backgrounds. Only, well, only now they'd be actual high definition and, re and really do well done character models and animation. So you keep the style of the game as it used to be on PlayStation, but now it's like brought up to modern standards in terms of the way it looks and animates and everything else. And then uh, you can add voice acting to it as well. I think that'd be perfectly fine. I, I don't necessarily need this for like FF9. As much as I love FF9, uh, I don't know. I'd rather like have that than like a you know a ten year pro project to make make it into three parts. Are you looking at chats through both YouTube and Twitch? Yes, I have both chats available to me. So I'm I'm reading you as well, Dale Atandra. All right, so let's go around the mountain here. Actually, turn it. Yeah, I think I get up to this area through here. We've already started this quest, we might as well finish it. change your party in time is nice. I wish you could kind of like do it on the fly in combat as well. I understand why you can't, but I don't know. I feel like that'd be great if you could like hit a button and cycle through your teammates. Sort of like you could in FF10. You have to you maybe use like one of your like active time battle charges or maybe like two full charges to do it. I think it'd be worthwhile. Good job, Baron. 
Good job. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get some more experience in. Deal with that. I feel like Barrett does a fuck ton more damage in this game than the previous one. You know what that metal monstrosity is, don't you? It's a pipeline. Moves Mako pumped in Midgard to the outlying towns and whatever else. <laughs> you call it a pipeline, but I call it a funnel. One that drains the planet's lifeblood into generous pockets. Mark my words. I'm gonna put a stop to that. You know, it would be actually way easier to attack these pipelines and Mako reactors now that I think about it. That way we'll really be given back to the planet. There's an idea. Real genius one. And unique? Very. Oh, come on! You think Barrett has ever had the plan to like glue his hand to the road? <laughs> to stop the you know the use of Mako energy? Or like throw soup at some paintings? Are these people still terrorists? I mean, they're well, they're trying to save the world, but Shinra would still consider them terrorists, yes. Yeah, I, I, I think Barrett is uh, his D, his DPS has gone. Well, he's not just a tank anymore. He's like destroying people. <laughs> Good thing the monsters don't damage these pipes. You know what? Monsters only care about the living. I would assume. Then again, I think a lot of the monsters are created by Mako poisoning, right? So maybe that's the that's what's actually causing them to be even here in the first place. dead hmm hey, I don't get it why are we bring dead in the hideout obviously so we can pull one over on the muck dumbass pull one over while dead try using that brain of yours you can't make a dead guy any deader right he wasted his time attacking us so we won't because we're dead They just don't know, realize that I like their soundtrack. I don't really care about them. Dead. We just killed them. hear the song. The song says the so peace, but I only want death. Walk all over me. You know what I think? 
Stop, stop. Oh, I'm almost dead. Holy shit, I am dead. These Phoenix downs cost a lot, Cloud. You better be like not making me use all of like being just like locked in a corner sorry it ain't going well Fireball blade. Oh, holy shit. These guys got so tough all of a sudden. When your current party members are in dire straits. You can call upon the other comrades to execute a synergy ability once per battle. Open the commands menu with X and press triangle backline, com backline command to select an ability. Uh, Barrett sends Red 13 flying toward an enemy. High velocity raises their limit level. Uh, Barrett, home their focus, temporarily partitions their ATV gauge into three segments. Uh, I don't think this is going to help me much. <laughs> Throw the dog. He learned that from Renoa. Certain synergy abilities can raise a character's limit level, which will in turn unlock more powerful limit break attacks. For example, Cloud can perform Cross Slash at limit level 1 and Ascension level 2. You can also unlock level 3 limit break attacks to your character's folios. Need to heal. But I got no ATB to heal with. Holy shit, first death in the game. And it was to these idiots. Try that again, shall we? I got overconfident, Chad. That went poorly. Yeah, I think I focused on the robot when I should have focused on... Thank you for the best. Try that again. You think this would do some damage if they give it some hope? Oh, yeah, maybe not though. Skip. Fucking dead in one move from that door. Holy crap. You got this. So it's my turn? If I can take out the little guys, I think I'm good though. Stay 
This fight might be a little bit too tough for me right now because I'm getting my ass handed to me. I've been offered like summon attacks on like fighting rats and shit, but not on this fight. like Phoenix Downs Claw, don't die anymore. He died instantly. This is not going well. Maybe I should just let them, you know, you know I got this. No, I do not. Everybody just keeps dying on me. That, that one big dude and this robot are just fucking me up. Right, I can keep Aerith and Bear alive, maybe. and then maybe I can't bring anyone back to life now though. Sadly. It's up to you, Barrett. Be a hero. Alright, still skin. Oh yeah, Barrett doesn't have... I can only heal with this. Alright, who, who wants to put some you know, odds on this? The pressing with the four action buttons while guarding with R1 will execute a synergy... I know, I know. I can't do that right now because we got no people to synergize with. Bad odds. I actually do have the thunder ability with Barrett that I can that it's weak against. Hey, Barrett ain't getting too far away from one of them there limit breaks. In fact, he's got it right now. While it's staggered. Fire in the hole. Needed a bit more damage, though. I think I might be able to do this if I can just keep myself healed. Sure, do you need Phoenix Downs? It's a little easier once you get actual you'll revive of materia. Don't die here. Don't stop now. 
I think I'm gonna like do this with Barrett alone. It's gonna happen, chat. It was just all the all the mess around the fight that was making it hard. Of course, I have gone through a lot of money here. Ungar. And we get to finish it off with a limit break. Perfect finish. Barrett, you're a hero, dude. What a hero. What a champion. We had to play that like it was a, God, a Gears of War fight. How's the combat? As good as the first games was, actually. That was the first tough fight I actually had, though. All we wanted was to sell the treasure for some cash so we could stop stealing and start fresh. I'm sure that's the reason. Hey, we could throw him a bone. 2,000 gil. Are you for real? Pay them 2,000 gil. Do I even have 2,000 gil? Sure. This was dumb of me. get good the combat in this game uh, i don't know I, I got pretty good in the first game this one has more options i'm still learning <laughs> work as a be a buddy act as family yeah what does a ploy do this feels like a latin term I didn't think these guys would get a good in chat. We willed you that victory. You were all you know, really necessary for it. I saw your energy. That's what happens. <coughs> Pardon? Huh? Gilgamesh? Japan? This is a bit weird. <clears throat> Cloud, I have confirmed that you are now in possession of the proto relic. 
I've already taken the liberty of scanning it and need only analyze the data. Should I happen to pick up other proto-relic readings, I may request your assistance again. Oh, there is one more thing I should mention. Your device detected a small amount of interference. I can't say for certain, but it's entirely possible that others are looking for proto-relics as well. What for? That's what I hope to find out. I'll be in touch if I learn anything Stallfield. <laughs> No, don't remind me of Snarville. That is not what that was. It couldn't be. Chained back photo relic. It cost me everything, though. I'm near death. Like, literally all my money. I probably should have just, like, not gave them 2,000. I don't think I'm going to get anything from that. That's a reference to FF8, what, the Gilgamesh thing? Good night. Hey, little dove, you have a good night, man. All right, what are we doing next? Uh, I, I really need to go to a Chocobo thing and heal first because I'm really dead. You can fast travel these, right? Yeah. I witnessed the infinite and all I got was a new ship. Pushing me. All right, we have another side mission right over here. Yeah, okay, what else do we got? Head to, uh, actually, we should probably go do the wildflower thing, since that was our actual big side mission we had been granted. So, uh, well, this, this would be closer. I also love how they kept up with the Loveless posters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when we get to the Gold Saucer, we get to play in the Loveless play. If I'm correct. I don't think that's what it was in the original game, but that's what they're making it. Go get this girl's fucking flowers, man. Be like the opera house scene of FSEG. Yeah, they're definitely drawing on that. I actually have a piece of merch from that scene, actually. I turned it into like my coin purse. Or I guess you could call it, you know, if we're being cheesy, my gill purse. Oh, that's right. Where is it? Old cheese board, yeah. I mean, I mean, hey, it's it's a it's a bag with that scene on it that you can put money in. Lead me, small chocobo. Pretty sure I can't miss it since all the bus stops are near roads, though. <laughs> Don't really think the little. I mean, it's cute, but they're always right there. Maybe you should buy FF7 Remake Plus Integrate on Steam. Uh, I think you can get a pretty good price right now, right? I think it's a good game. <coughs> Worth your money. Got this really cute crop top that has an old 1800s Art Nouveau style ad for the Golden Saucer. Now that's classy. Win the War of the Beast. I'm not sure what that is in relation to. <laughs> when is the War of the Beast? So this is where that girl goes and picks flowers up?
can't chill the music. Well, that's the entire point. <laughs> they spent a lot of money on this game. So this, this game's soundtrack probably costs more than most games in their entire production. But I appreciate that. I like a game with a you know, thick music soundtrack. Oh, here we go. Looks like we're at the fight, though. Stops anything that makes it. Yeah, I think if anything that comes into this field gets stopped or slowed. Damage and temporarily freezes enemies who attempt to strike you. Let's get to you. So, Aerith is really about just controlling an entire area around her with her like her magical fields. I got this. As much as I want to Did you do uh, you, board and side otherwise. quests? The only big side quest I've done so far is the one with the bucks, Good the old, the, old the bandits. We got the artifact, so and now we're doing the one with the flowers. We picked flowers for the leaf house. Pick flowers using the illustration. Okay, red, yellow. Yeah, it looks like okay, okay. It's like a lot of red and yellow. Borden, the guy who helped you at the bar, has a sign. Yeah, we haven't been back to Calm yet. I've been like doing everything around it before I go start, there. But we're definitely gonna need more. All right, we need red. I think they realize everyone liked the flower so you like picking mission so much in the remake. They're like, let's add that in again. Chat, eventually every game will become Stardew Valley. A few more couldn't hurt. Okay, she has green leaves in it as well. Oh wait, there's also white flowers. It looks yeah, oh yeah, the white flowers. Almost missed those. Wow, these smell heavenly. Definitely the right choice if you want something fragrant. Should probably be enough. Let's go give him to Chloe. Good. Fast travel? Yeah, so we're kind of, yeah, we can just fast travel back to the, the Chocobo Ranch. If there was a bench there. Or there is. Hey. 
Okay, you just go directly to the location. Uh, when I did that show as a streamer, I got to play Stardew Valley. It was so nice. Eh? A lot of people in, in that. I think they're making that guy's making a new game where you're a chocolate factory owner. And you fight ghosts because it's a haunted chocolate factory. Hope you pay good for this because I spent all my money on criminals. Thank you. It was our pleasure. I'm kind of worried though. What if mine's not as pretty as mom's? Well, lucky for you, I just so happened to be a florist. I'd be more than happy to help you put one together. Really? We'll make two. Right, Cloud? Sure. Look! It's just like Mom's. But this one's all yours. Yeah, I didn't think I could do it. But I did. You two are the best. I couldn't have made this without you. Yeah, you could. Believe in yourself. Thanks. There's something I can help you with? Oh, Billy! Here, for you. Chloe, did you make this? Uh huh. <laughs> Thanks. So? <laughs> Cute, don't you think? Yeah. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Well, our relationship with Aerith has deepened. Honestly, I never want to take it off. I can lurk in chat seeing that I'm ahead of you. How are you enjoying the game? I'm liking it. I'm digging is I think I'm on the same level as Remake with it. Uh, I don't really need to buy any of this. We hope to serve you again. appreciate you helping out Chloe. Yeah, I'm digging it. I, I probably am not going to try to do everything in this one like I did in Remake, though, because there's so much more in this one. <laughs> that one seems like it might take me a little bit too long. I will do a hefty amount, though. Uh, I guess I just can't buy any, like, new stuff from my Chocobo yet. Oh yeah, I need to check the board over there. We get some points. And what do we got? Uh, team up with your partner in time with an enemy... Enemy's range attack to un... Uh, with an enemy's range attack to unleash a counter-strike. Make an ice magic attack without expending any MP. Let's get the extra HP for right now. I could not sleep, so I have come to Moo. Well, some people say my voice helps them with that. I'd launch his Tifa toward an enemy to attack in tandem. Some max HP. Yeah, we want Bear to be tanky. Guarantee a team to take down an enemy. Tifa, so popular right now. Weapon level 3. Requires weapon level 3. Uh, unleash a fire magic attack without expending. Okay, I got you. Lightning magic. Yeah. Synergy skill and synergy ability damage with five.
Okay. Team. Insufficient weapon level. Oh well, I can watch two dart streams at the same time now. I mean, I mean it is the same stream. You have a. I can see why you have a very calming and peaceful voice. Well, hey, I, I was gifted a few things, I guess, in the in the lottery of life. Uh, unleash a fire magic attack, or <coughs> let's get the another combo we'll move. Not that I'm getting to use them very much because I keep not building up enough points to use them. I guess. All right. Um... Red 13, we need his block ability. Reset's counter spin potency. Someone said you have to unlock it, which I'm assuming you get through this. Maybe not, I don't I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it's a different clone dart again from the Kingdom Hearts universe. What, I'm made through data? These like little abilities you learn like this seem kind of meager, like they don't really do very well. But you know what, maybe they're good for like combos. Right now, I rather like get the stat increases. How much money? Oof! I got seven. Oh man, all, all my money gone. Can barely even afford a phoenix down. What would you and your nobody's name be? Well, it's got to have an X in there, right? So. Make it difficult to pronounce, so... Darzian. Yeah, just put, get rid of the G, replace it with an X. Right, uh, we got time for more. So, let's go do the Moogle thing. Yeah, actually, I, I can probably make a few good things, because I've been, like, stocking up on, like, items, like, crafting items for a while. But I don't imagine I'll need them to deal with Moogles. Dardagax. Yeah, there you go. That works. Straight up Moogle house. Pop inside a mushroom shaped mog stool to get a peek at the lives of the fantastical creatures who dwell with therein. What in the hell? Didn't they say in the in remake that Moogles were like invisible? So I'm assuming what they've done with this is they took the Moogle minigame you could play the gold saucer and turned it into like an actual thing you play out in the game. This looks more like Pooh's house. Oh Bob, enter the mog stool. You're off to bed, Jim. Have a good night, man. Thanks for being here through like your mini you know, side quest, your stuff tonight. Dead? Both? Welcome to our Moogle Emporium. Though, I'm sorry to say, we aren't open quite yet. And I'm not even sure when we will be. Those Mooglets are refusing to come back. And we can't do business with oh, them. Oh, I don't like it. Actually... Maybe you wouldn't mind helping? 
Be back to calm. Yeah, I know there's a side quest in calm. That's what I plan to do tomorrow. Can't get to it tonight. I don't like the mouth. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Get it off my screen. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much, Koopa. Chase the Mooglets around the field to lure them back to their mug stool, or catch them and escort them there yourself. Just be aware they're playful little tricks. Get hit three times and the game will end, Koopa. I'm like treating Moogles like they're sheep. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Here you go. Ugliest Moogles you ever see. I gotta agree, there's something really off about the when that one was speaking. to their mog stool will grant access to a new shop at which you can exchange Moogle medals. Ruby. HP up materia earrings. Art of sword play. Primer on the proper sword increases cloud skill points. Manuscript for detailing. Some of the martial arts best kept series increases Tifa skill points. Uh, we'll grab this. Poff, you have a great night. Starting with story information to end off the precious off precious measures. Yeah, I read your comment, Frost. I'll be doing that tomorrow. Obviously, don't have time tonight. We've we've been doing a lot of side content. I'm sure there's one in every region. I might do some of this side content in this region off screen tomorrow, but I'll save any side quests for also in the other game. You know, I guess we got time to go open this tower up. Because we're right next to it. We're the weird kid who dresses up like he... Uh, he might be dead. He was in the old... Well, I don't think he was under the sectors. Was he under Sector 7? I don't know. He might very well be able to kick the bucket. It's one of those mysteries. He was in Sector 5, okay, so as long as he didn't take a trip over there, he should be alive. I got my three potions back that I spent with Bear. All right, to the towel. Bird, come to me.
Where's the, but uh I wonder if we should I wonder if he knows that Moogles are real though. Cause that was the whole point, is like Moogles weren't gonna be real, and he was just like, eh, I'll pretend to be one. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Turn around, please. Thank you. This is one of... I want to be a Blitzball kid. Well, this kid just want to be a Moogle and be, you know, an entrepreneur. I think he had a better future going for him than I want to be a Blitzball kid. Not get off. Get on. Chocobo afraid of jump. Do your best in Nathan Drake mod. Wait, oh, hold on a second. Red 13 is awkward looking as fuck. I'm sorry, but that just doesn't work. He's like levitating down that thing. I can't, okay, when Kate, when we get Kate Sith, remind me to climb a wall and pay close attention how he looks climbing up and down. Wanna try activating that tower? Are you planning on doing stuff off stream, like some of the, not the side quests, but like side content that's just like minor stuff, like say this, like towers and a few other things. Side quests, I would still say for like stream. <laughs> Should have done a mountain goat style animation. Actually, not a bad idea. Would have made more sense. Grasslands are like 10 hours, I think. If you try, yeah, but uh, I did a lot of it tonight. I think I'm like halfway through all the actual stuff you can do in the grasslands. But like I said, a lot of this stuff I will do off stream if I plan to do how much or how much I do. Just so I don't spend every stream doing, like every time I get to a new area, doing stuff like this all night. Where's the button? I know I don't mind if they have these like towers, but if they put the button at the bottom and they make climbing it optional. Not a bad idea. You should see red 13 I took I have. He didn't look as awkward as the, him trying to climb down a rock face. Is that remind me to go spend all these research points with our boy Chadley divine intel okay let's see what this divine intel is why like towers though couldn't we just run into a cartographer uh eh. What they want to do it's what other games have done. So they figure, let's just do what the old people know. I'm assuming.
Dorgan is cooler than Cloud? Well, I don't know about that. I'm not anime cool. Try smashing up these sacred relics. Lead you to a sanctuary set to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain untold divine knowledge, slumbering within massive crystals. Are you I doing all the side quests before the main quest? Uh, so if per region, possibly. I don't want to promise it because eventually I might lose patience, but I will try to do as much side content as I can. I like that Chadley's like, break up people's Congrats, cultural Congrats, relics, Titan clown. Fine. In the age of myths, when Titan <laughs> rose from his subterranean prison, he created a massive earthquake. Thus did a vast swath of land rise from the sea, becoming the grasslands. Go. I think it went down there. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> I think this is how we make Titan weaker, so we can, like, actually beat him in a fight. Though I don't know how that works when it comes to him being a simulation. Sanctuaries contain the crystallized knowledge of summons, which will strengthen your summoning materia. Path to a sanctuary is lined with guide stones. Break one to release the light that will lead you to the sanctuary. Storyline takes about 40 hours. That is, yeah, that's what I figured, based on what I know of what they're covering. Examining a summon crystal will reveal its memory matrix. A series of points will appear in order, and you must memorize their positions and necessary timing. The points will then disappear, and you must make inputs at the correct times to replicate the matrix. If you succeed, you will weaken the summon in its combat trial and strengthen its corresponding materia. All right. So just, okay, so I can remember it when it's like going around in a circle. Simple enough. got one at re mm, technically like you know what yeah okay right there 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 okay Can someone let you know what we missed? What you missed? Uh, the only thing I did story-wise today was reach the Chocobo place, and you'll get my Chocobo. The rest has been side content. Like I help get the girl's flower wreath and a bunch of other like activities in the grasslands. So totally you didn't miss material. much. I wanted to spend the night getting a feel for all the side content, so I'll know what I want to do at times. Because I'm assuming a lot, most of these activities will repeat in each region. Instead of, you know. So there's that. 
I don't think there's anything new left to do. There's just like some towers and more fights. Yeah, there's another one of those things over there. So yeah, I guess tomorrow we'll head back to Calm and do the side mission there. And then we'll head to the swamps. I will do the other side content, like towers and these fights, since they're not really that important, off stream. Uh, but we'll do the side mission in Calm, and then we'll head to the Swamp Star and continue with the main quest. I forgot to tell you this, I put some interesting games in your package that might be interesting for some sim videos. Oh, well, I'll keep an eye on it for when it shows up. Alright, so let me stop this recording, because I've kind of been on it for a while. I should have stopped that way earlier. That's going to be it for tonight, chat. That's been over five hours of streaming. So I want to thank you guys for being here tonight. I'll be streaming another, like, probably five to six hours tomorrow. It'll be m primarily plot. Just so you don't have to worry. I'll be doing most of the side content that I just mentioned off stream. It'll just be one side quest and then on to the main stuff for probably the rest of the stream. So get to see all those cutscenes you like. Maybe even, I'm hoping we can make it to June on tomorrow. That should be doable. Uh, but you've all been amazing tonight. Thank you for any bit subs, gift subs, super chats, memberships, any of that stuff. You can like, subscribe to the channel, you know, you know follow me, join the discord, any of that good stuff. It's all available to everyone. I thank you to the mod team as well. Thank you to anyone, you know, gave me your time tonight. Much appreciated. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night's sleep, everybody. Peace.